A fucking coloring book didn't come in, man. I texted you that I was going to get that Zelda coloring book. And Amazon uh, put a notification to me at 10.30 yesterday that they had put it in the mailbox. And it wasn't there. <laughs> There's some lying bitches over there. Yeah, and I don't have a whole lot to occupy my mind these days, and I have compulsive thought patterns, so what I actually did was walk the entire neighborhood and check everyone's mailbox, and my neighbors don't have my coloring book. Alright, don't get caught doing that. <laughs> I almost did, and it was uncomfortable, because I look like I'm just taking a walk, but also, if there, you know, other people live out here... Nobody checks their mailbox as much because everybody has a block and a half worth of driveways so people just kind of get shit on their way out. Uh, like, these people aren't out for vacation and they have four days of fucking mail in there, but... I was just looking specifically for the Amazon... I was looking for what came in my, my last comic... My last coloring book that came in. It's the same envelope, I would imagine. Hmm. But yeah, my, my cool... Zelda coloring book that I called Amazon and they told me they won't do shit for me until Monday. They gave it 48 hours for uh, somebody to try to give me my package or they got to reach yeah. out to the guy who delivered it, I guess, is what that bitch said, which doesn't make any sense. Like, why are we doing... I didn't know that you guys worked that hard at Amazon <clears throat> other than in the warehouse where they're being abused. But, <laughs> well, the drivers are being abused too. Yeah. So, their common excuse is that somebody advanced the... the the shipping phase by accident so it says it's delivered. yeah i had a similar thing happen uh whenever i had my computer supposedly delivered and then it showed up like an hour later <laughs> yeah i'm fine with that it, it you know it makes you crazy a little bit but it's been a, it's yeah been i was a like oh that's 900 dollars down the drain if it doesn't show the fuck up <laughs> i'm only losing six or seven dollars so that's not that bad uh, yeah. I got that Legend of Zelda coloring book. I wanted that one because it had some actually had some backgrounds in it. It wasn't just like the figures, the characters on a white oh. background, uh, which you know give more opportunity to draw. But I'm not trying to to draw yeah. yet. I'm probably gonna do some original pages soon. I was drawing some stuff, getting my hands used to drawing again. Um, cool. But I also got a kawaii pastel goth coloring book that also did not mm. get to show up. Oh. Doing some cute stuff. Anything that can get me away from uh, that that waifu book. This the new waifu book is kind of fucking uncomfortable. I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, just the fucking cover of it, man. Like 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 I said in that message. It's like, why are they feeding this weird fox girl with a baby bottle? I'm yeah, so confused. <laughs> you know, and I went through. I went through the. I went through all of this. The, the artist is Miko May, which is a collection of artists that post these coloring books on their Etsy okay. and Amazon. Um, and they have like seven of these anime hot girl books. Uh, and I was just, I look at the, one of them is just hot office coworkers and they're, they're still infantilized in shit. <laughs> mm. And that's, that was my, that was my big problem looking through the rest of their catalog is like the romantic waifu was, was a, was a cute idea and people, you know, obviously I have 230 weebs following me now. So I need to. Post more. <laughs> That's crazy. I need to post more weeb content for these losers, and I, they're I, they're fun to color sometimes when they have good backgrounds. Uh, but yeah, that was act the the sexy cosplayer was actually kind of the least uncomfortable based on what I could see. You don't get to just see all the coloring pages for free because like then you could just screenshot them and print them. But yeah, it's it's uh, I wanted more diversity than that. I'm I'm I'm. I'm I've got one other anime one kind of coming. The, the yeah, kind of coming. Kind, everyone's kind of coming. It's got. It's not really that anime. It's cute. It's cutesy anime. Anime. Like chibi shit. It's uh. It, the, that's a ba basically chibi. I don't. I don't really understand all, right. all the kawaii culture. Like I only see that name next to whores who are dressing like anime girls. What the word kawaii? Yeah, but I guess it's cuteness. Because I, yeah. I see Kawaii Ahigeo a lot. And I know that's <laughs> that's uh, blowjob face, big eyes. I don't know what it literally translates to. <laughs> yeah, me either. I know the face, though. It's the Belle Delphine face. Yeah, she's perfected it. She's really good at it. You know, props to her for having a, a, a marketable skill. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, the minute she came in, made millions, and then disappeared. I think she's that still goes. doing. 
She's still doing stuff. Nah, man. She's she's been gone for a while. She hasn't been on H three in a while. She hasn't been sending them her bathwater. So. Yeah, she disappeared again. She had that one sexual encounter on OnlyFans, her first real porn. And I think. Yeah, that was pretty the last sure I she did more it. than one. That was the last I had heard from it. Was H uh, three let their let their sound guy Zach. Uh, they, to, to do to do journalism, uh, purchase purchase her sex tape on OnlyFans, and report back oh. on it. And the general consensus for all these people who were obsessing over this kind of young-looking woman was that you know a little disappointing. It wasn't nasty enough. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't pay for such a thing. Yeah, and to them I would say, if you have a complaint about how someone is having sex, then get in there and take a dick yourself. Yeah. Although it is kind of lame to see porn where the women look safe. I don't really like that. I also don't like to see a condom, so whatever. I mean, it just depends on my mood. I don't think I've ever had any problems with condoms being a thing. There's condoms. But that, that being said, I haven't really seen much porn with condoms, so... Because everybody moans about it when it happens. Hmm. I don't know. So what's up, dog? Uh, I've recently become an influencer on TikTok. Nice. That's, you know, it's going slowly, but I, uh... I had a community strike that got quickly appealed and taken down, and I guess they, they plugged me into the algorithm. They plugged a few things into the algorithm weird. Like, uh, the, the video that got taken down and then put back up uh, was late getting its views back, but they had plugged in, like, two a video that came up two videos ago, and that one went to 2,000 views, and I've got... My biggest one is at uh, 4,100 views with 730 likes. Damn, son. Yeah. I got about. Nice. I'm getting over a over a quarter of interactions become likes. It's a pretty good conversion rate. Hell yeah. So I'll get more coloring books, and I don't I don't know what the plan is for that. I don't know if I'm if I if I sit down and make a coloring book, then I'll have market value to show the pages and color it for people, and I don't know, tell, give them a link. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> the world is so weird. I know. I might change my I might change my my my, uh, my TikTok handle from Jeff Without Pants, which is my ubiquitous name on everything, uh, to Crown. Oh crayons my fucking god! Because I only really use crayons. I could be I could be a small time Crayola influencer with this kind of heat. The fucking hung up again. Oh my god. One. Yes, Google Play. I'm rating your phone system a one. Nope, nope. Keep it, keep it, keep it. I will not leave a message for Zach. 30 years old. Fucking leave a text message. Hello, Moto. Ga. I don't know which one of us dropped the call, but I'm blaming it on you. Yeah, that was me. You douche. I couldn't stand to hear your voice anymore. I had to hang up. <laughs> yeah, I think that happens a lot. <laughs> nah, Raycons, it's very easy to accidentally hit the, a fucking button on them. And and then they just like, okay, bye. <laughs> well, fuck my story. Boy got Raycons? I told you you were so anti-con for a while. Nah, nah I... I, I I mean, yeah, I was. We talked about this already. I've had them for a couple months. I don't think we did. Sometimes I'm hungover on this podcast. I don't remember everything. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I don't always remember everything either. Well, how about that? What co oh, you got blue ones? Yeah. I think I, I think I do remember you telling me that. Anyway, I might change my name to Crown to Crayons on TikTok and just become a coloring book influencer and drop all the ukulele shit. Yeah, man. Whatever works. I don't post life updates on on TikTok anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't. I don't need my branding to be consistent everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. 
And I can just start two TikToks. That's true. I could if I take Jeff without pants off of that off the ones that has all the coloring book views, then I can just start another Jeff without pants somewhere the fuck else. Yeah. Then I'll use that for ukulele posting. Or I Hell don't. Yeah. Or I don't turn into a business and I just stay Jeff without pants and I'm just a person on there who happens to do a lot of coloring books. I mean, whatever works. Yeah, since none of it really matters, there's so many options. <laughs> yeah. That is true. What you been up to? Oh. Uh, eh. Hmm. Playing games and watching stuff, basically. <laughs> yeah, notice you not getting very many steps in Pikmin. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't opened that fucking app in, like, I don't know couple months <laughs> well damn it should still be counting your steps unless you, I don't know if you gotta turn it on to sync or not I don't know maybe yeah just hasn't really uh, I don't know more needs to happen with that game to make me interested at all they just had community like, day yeah but what what happens on community day like nothing <laughs> it's I like gotta... oh you get Half the steps or whatever I got to, a, to hatch a Pikmin. I got a pe I got a badge. Mm. I walked ten thousand steps. I got a badge. Nice. Yeah. They need to add enemies in that fucking game. You're right. Nothing fucking happened. I didn't do it for any good reason, other than I had posted on on Facebook that I was gonna do the ten k first thing in the morning, and I didn't. I had to go. <clears throat> I had too much to do yesterday. Yeah. Yep, that's how it goes. I always have a long-ass list of shit to do on the weekends, and then it's like, cool, I did half of them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the longer the list is, the less I actually do most of the time. Yeah, and it's really annoying, because it's like, so many of these things on my list, it's like, oh, if I just take five minutes, I could do, like, one of these. I could do a bunch of these in, like, five minutes each. And I'm just like, eh, I, I want to focus on one of the big ones. <laughs> You know, one of the ones that 24 hours of editing or something. <laughs> That'll, yeah. Ye yeah. You'd spend, yeah. You should definitely, because once you, once you run out of energy, those small things aren't going to get, it is definitely always better to knock out the small ones first. Unless there's a fun one. Yeah. There's a fun one to do. Then you can do that uh, last. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, lists. I'm not really sure how I feel about that because that's that's been something that that like comes up a lot for productivity for like editing like do the do the hardest thing first and save a fun thing for later or try to do something fun that gets you into into the chair I don't I don't really know which one. Yeah, it was always yeah. kind of explained to me as like you know there's three different like stages of shit. You got the bigger, more important things that you should do first, and then the medium, and then the smallest ones last, because like, if you were sticking these things, if they were balls into a jar or whatever, the small things will all fill in the cracks and shit, and your time is spent better. But, like, eh, I don't like it. I want to do what I want when I can do it. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I'm Just, got, I've got two things to edit now that are not paid, but that need to get done. And it's tempting to go through and just try to do just the color. <laughs> yeah. And that's that would be kind of a waste of time. One of them doesn't even need color grading, but... Well, then that one definitely should be color graded. Yeah, I already color graded it. I gotta cut it. We're gonna release Pharmacos. Oh. <laughs> We're finally gonna release Pharmacos um, probably in March. That's cool. So I volunteered to cut a trailer. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta cut, I do that. I went to vocalremover.org, a, a free website that I've used a few times now, and it's pretty fucking effective for, for a lot of things, and it, it did just take all the dialogue out of my edited footage, so I didn't have to hit up John to get my shit. So I've got, from a YouTube download, I've got a clean version of, of the video, with no music or sound effects. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty slick. It's only that that thing's yeah, there's a limit to how many times you can use it in a day. 
but you can you can use it for free for always unless you go to the Patreon. If you go to the Patreon, you can get unlimited use. But it's um, it's only fucked up a couple of things. It didn't really even fuck it up. I somebody sent me a commercial on Upwork, and I was just just doing the audition edit, and I needed to move stuff around, so I needed to get the song out of there, and put the song and put the song back in. Uh, and it had it had like there's been a couple times where it's removed dialogue or or like speech from a song. And it added, it did weird things to the reverb on other stuff, but it does separate it successfully. Hmm. The AI is really good. Interesting. I've had like twenty. You know, that would probably work pretty well for, uh, like, like reaction videos and shit. Like if there's like if you're watching a movie or something and music comes on, that shit'll get copyright so fucking quick. But if you use that thing to pull the music out, you can still keep the dialogue in. Yeah, for trailers and shit. I've found like 20 uses yeah. for that for that website since I've discovered it. Hmm. What's it called? Vocalremover.org. Dope. Yeah, it was on... Uh, there's a TikTok series that winds up on weird places, but it, it's uh, free websites you should know about. I think I've come across that one back when I had TikTok. Yeah, that, guy, that guy's pretty viral. Yeah. He's got some useful shit on there, because who goes to websites anymore? <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, it. I guess. Yeah, that guy's, I mean, that guy's still going to websites. It's like he has an advantage in the world. He has access yeah. to something that we don't for some reason because we're too stupid. No, it's because all we need is a search engine, a YouTube, and social media. <laughs> yeah, all the important websites are apps now. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's kind of like when you meet somebody with financial literacy. They just have access to an important tool. We should go to more websites. might change our life. Yeah. I'm not gonna, though. No, and I'm not gonna become financially literate, either. <clears throat> I'm gonna be a dumb... Nah. I'm gonna be a poor retard until I die. Sounds like a plan. A bad plan. Get good, Jeff. Get rich. Yeah. Get rich how? Be the elite. Um, I don't know. However you want. You just have to get rich. Do you know what never crosses my mind anymore? Is making a success, uh, like, a, a medium successful film that gets enough attention that somebody pays me to do something. Yeah, me either. Yeah, what happened to that? Is that a dead dream? Did the dream die? Yeah, kinda. Damn. Because it's like, we haven't even been at it that long. We've only been doing it for 10 or 11 years. Well, I think the issue is that the... Uh, how everything works changed um, so much that it feels unnecessary. John might be getting At least a... speaking from my point of view. John might be getting a show on CW. Gross. That project he shot, he just like they just shot the the trailer for a pilot uh, a, a couple of months ago, and they just got mm -hmm. done editing it, and it looks like a CW show as fuck. It sounded like a CW show as fuck. And CW has is talking to the producer about putting a couple of things into the trailer, and they might pick it up. Huh. Well, that's cool. It is cool. good for him yeah yeah i don't i don't know because they were talking about it they if it gets picked up hiring john to be the director and he might have me come out and shoot it which hopefully i make it look better than he did but also i don't i don't know i guess you'll be going to vancouver mm, i'll go wherever they'll pay me to go and let me take my dog yeah i'm pretty sure that'll be all right yeah, because I can't, like, they, people tell you that shit, like, get a dog, it's responsibility, but people will watch it for it. I could not, if I had a life-changing opportunity that took me out of this house for a week, I couldn't do it. <laughs> there, John might, John maybe would watch the dog for a week. John watched the dog for two days when my grandma died, and that kind of seemed like a chore to them. Hmm. 
There's a dog in this house now, too. I bet my dad and stepmom would watch the dog, but I never talked to him. Did you get a dog? I didn't get a dog. Oh. My aunt's got a dog, though, so I hang out with it. It's a tiny little three-month-old dog. That's cute. And it's, uh... Yeah, it's super cute, but it's like a, one of them tiny dogs. So it's also kind of like, oh, this dog's going to be real gross in a few years. <laughs> um, you know, like all small dogs get. <laughs> no, no. Small dog, I, guess, I guess small dogs do get ugly. I think they're cute. They get ugly and angry. Because <laughs> everything in the world is scary to them because they're so small. Bear, um, bear doesn't yeah. have any fear. Well, yeah, I mean, he's kind of weird. He's he's a weird one. I'm referring to dogs slightly smaller than that. Smaller like than this one is. Bear's kind of a big shih tzu too, though. Bear's fat. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. I miss Bear. It's been a couple of years since I've seen him, so I don't even know. Um. But yeah. So that's the thing. I thought that was crazy. No, I wouldn't give up Arthur. I house. wouldn't give up Arthur for anything, but being a dog uncle was pretty great. A dunkle? Yeah. A donkle? Yeah, just, just there it is. Watching John and Audrey's dogs too much and hanging out with Bear all the time. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else's dogs, great. I yeah, love yeah. them all. Yeah, if I ever get a <laughs> Well, I don't want to say if I ever get a dog. When I get a dog, one day, it's going to be like a medium-sized dog. Medium to large. I don't like them little dogs. Arthur's a good size. He's really heavy. Like, I can pick him up and stuff, but I'd notice how he's he he's a fat ass. First of all, he's fat. Second, he's, he's reaching his final size. Like, he's not getting any taller, but... He's getting all of his bulk in. He's getting all of his muscles are coming through. He's becoming more yeah. of a pit bull. Dope. Yeah, it's cute. He's so he's a handsome boy. Yeah, I uh, wouldn't want anything like gigantic. Like my brother Matt has a, a fucking dog. I don't even know what kind of dog it is. Simba. He's like seven feet long. Like he's fucking gigantic. He's it's crazy. It's like a miniature horse walking around. Yeah, that's something that white trash people would own. You you hear that? You hear you hear people like that. I'm gonna get a bull mastiff for my one room apartment or my tiny yard house in the in the suburb. No, well, they got a pretty big yard. Okay. <laughs> that thing's gonna shit inside, and it's gonna take a team of four people to clean it. <laughs> Yeah, he's not allowed to go inside because if he does, it'll break the house. Like, poop-wise. We'll poop on the house and it'll fall apart. Oh. Wait, well, no no dogs allowed to poop. Are they keep, is it just an outside dog? Yeah, and, like, garage, I guess, as well. I was about to say, because it gets, it's, uh, it's cold enough outside about half the time to actually kill a dog, so you can't really do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they basically live in the garage but have access to outside whenever they need it okay that's good then they have shelter yeah they have space to run that's probably ideal and they probably would like but I mean, they would they could they could put soft stuff for them to lay on in the garage yep that works john went yes. through a real asshole let's leave the dogs outside in the coal phase for a long time yeah there's a lot of people that have done that and i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> They just, that's how people grow up a lot of times. Like, the, yeah. the dogs can just be put away that they're not people. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing, because I, I do remember, like, any, like, father figure or anything that I had growing up that, you know, whenever we had dogs and shit, always just, like, they can stay outside. They're fucking, they're, they're animals, whatever. Like, you know, they, <laughs> they're from outside. It's like, not really. <laughs> not this version of them. Yeah, and I grew up around a lot of people that just beat the shit out of dogs. Yeah. That's like a normal thing in our area. That's how people like, discipline you know, dogs. Yeah, and I'm just like, uh, that's super not necessary. It's hard to scrub it out of you, too. I want to beat the fuck out of this fucking dog sometimes. 
<laughs> yeah. Toss this dog through a window and then keep kicking it because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> no, he's adorable. He is adorable. He's playing. He's he's doing. Uh, he's playing fence chicken with the neighbor dog. There's a hole in the fence, so they'll come and they'll make out, and then they'll go run along the fence line at each other, and they'll go back to the hole in the fence and make out. That's hot. It is for them. It's another pit bull. The neighbor's pit bull is a real pit bull, though. Hmm. Not a boy. mutt. He a big boy. He's jacked. Hell yeah. It's beautiful. Arthur's a little. He's you know he's got that goose half in him, so he's kind of a little bitch. But yes, half pit bull, half goose. He still can't fly yet. So. <laughs> so. Yes. No. You know, it's been long enough that if I did something, I wouldn't exactly remember it. Yeah, it has been a month. Yeah. I might... Well, I, I, I put in an application to uh, join the call center at the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority. Oh, fancy. I wrote a cover letter and put my resume up and everything. Because I've been cool. doing, I've been doing my my stupid day job for a couple of weeks as best I can, which is a lot. Of just a lot of times I'm sitting there with the with the uh, the internet unplugged because I can't really get all the panic attacks under control. Hmm. So it's been the solution. The sol I feel that. Yeah, the solution is also kind of probably trying to drink at work to calm down enough to take calls, which is going to end up in disaster. Now get yourself some weed, bro. Yeah, it's going to take me at least a month to get weed. I did do my tax return for federal, even though Oklahoma is not taking state taxes yet. They're not taking it until 25th, but I got my federal processed. I already did my... I already did mine. Oh. I did my shit in January. Credit Karma is not taking uh, Oklahoma state taxes until the 25th. Maybe that's just a mm. them problem. Yeah, sounds like it. Because we're... we're uh, starting to process them so since i only took 53 since i only made 5300 dollars last year i'm getting almost a grand of it back nice yeah i got 500 back from federal and then i owed the state five dollars fucking cuts <laughs> it seems it's but it seems really apparent that i'm not going to be able to just walk back into this job there's too much associated with the the, the failure and the, the stress of the calls and the types of the calls maybe it's calls itself I'm not going to be able to yeah. hold down this job. The only, the only thing that makes me scared to leave this job is that they haven't fired me yet. So that's a lot of security if I can get my shit together and just do it. Uh, and it's nineteen dollars. I mean, just hour. keep it till you find something else, man. Like, just focus on finding something else and just keep that while you can. Like, yeah. Well, that's why. If I it's really an issue, if you're really just going to sit there and be like, I don't think I can do this. I mean, it's probably not worth trying to stick it out forever. Yeah, that's why even though the the, uh, the medical marijuana authority place is, is a pay cut, at, uh, I'm gonna negotiate. It's not a giant pay cut. It's like sixteen fifty. Uh, I'm on, I'm making nineteen now. It's a pretty good pay cut. But if I can actually fucking do it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean, you also get benefits though. Yeah, the state benefits look fucking sweet, and there's eleven holidays. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, and it looks like they have a medical. Thing. Yeah, I, I'm getting. I'm, I'll be working for the state like you, so I'll get benefits. Yep good shit that's kind of the main reason why i'm still why i'm still doing this yeah it said i wasn't i want to ask to clarify because it says that there was 15 vacation days a year and 15 sick days which sounds like francis Tuttle had absurd amount of time off too but i don't know they have set set i don't uh i feel like they'll like tell you labeled. something differently whenever you get it yeah um just because like is it is it hourly though yeah, it's an or hourly. Is it salary. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, a job. Uh, the nineteen dollars an hour doesn't kind of matter if I never do the job because I'm not making any money. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't think I'll. I don't think I can do the. Like, 
there's only so much banging your head against the wall to try to make that happen before you like you you, you pull the plug and just go try to be successful somewhere else. Absolutely. Yeah, and I would definitely rather make less money than even if even if weed solves a lot of problems for me. I don't want to. I don't want. I definitely don't want to crutch on alcohol. And I don't like even crutching on weed. I'll have to. I don't. I don't know anything about smoking weed, so I'll have to see what's up with that before I to judge it. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any issues with it. I know, like, I feel like it depends on, like, what you smoke, kind of, sort of. Because, like, you know, like, my brother Aaron, like, if he's got nothing going on, he'll just smoke weed all day. And I'm just like, I don't understand how you could actually do that. Like, I just need... I, I smoke before I go to bed and just kind of hang out for an hour and it's pretty good. Like, but whenever I was hanging out with him one day and we were smoking, like, the shit that he had was just... You fucking wore off so quickly that you kind of just had to keep smoking it all day. Hmm. So, I don't know. I think it's a sativa versus indica situation. So, I don't know. Yeah, there's too much. Ugh. You see, when you want to when you want to drink, you just go buy a bottle of alcohol. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, you, you do some learning when you're younger. Obviously, it's like, do I want beer or whiskey? Like, how drunk do I want to be? Like, it's just it's the same fucking thing with weed. Like, there's not like yeah, you can get way more into it, but you can do the same shit with alcohol. Like, yeah, but you don't have to buy. I don't. I mean, I was looking at the vapes, and there's. We, there's flour burning and oil burning, and then the grinder. There's grinders that get a cute little tray, learn how to roll, possibly. I mean, so just much. get a pipe. You have a you have a fucking tobacco pipe. Like it's the same thing. Like get yourself a weed pipe. That's what I do. Like I I've tried smoking out of a bong. It's fucking impossible. I can't figure it out at all. I can't roll a joint for shit. But they sell, like, pre-rolls and stuff for, like, a few dollars a piece. You just go to the fucking dispensary, spend three dollars, and have a big fucking joint. Like, it's, I know it's there's retard. made very easily. I know there's a retard mode, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the retard mode for sure. And I don't know. I just, I'm just, you know, I'm not complaining. I am complaining. Um, I don't know what I'm complaining <laughs> about. Yes. It's just there's, there's new things to learn that I don't find particularly interesting. So, I'm going to... <laughs> have to yeah. nut up and it's do just, that. It's not. It's not as difficult as it seems. Like, like I know, like my brothers are fucking like super into it, and so they're like, "Oh, look at this crystallization and this color, of this fucking nug and shit." And it's like, dude, that means literally fucking nothing to me. <laughs> like, cool. Like, it's impressive, I guess, because you're saying it's impressive and you grow the shit. But like, it's beyond me. I just need it to be smokable <laughs> or edible. I want to get to rolling because I want to buy. I want to. I want to roll some jumps. I want to get some Maduro leaves and roll them in uh, cigar wrappers. Oh. Be fancy. Be baller. Because that's you know pimp fantasy. You could roll up with your own joints. Then they they custom. Yeah, you know. Sure. All right. I mean, if you want to go overboard with it. <laughs> well, it just sounds like a cool thing to do. Like, I don't know. Some people think about buying nice cars, and I'm thinking about, like, dude, tobacco leaf on my johns. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can figure I'm, I'm sure there's fucking YouTube tutorials out there. It's not yeah, going to be hard. People do it. People do it all the time. Yeah. I just don't care to learn. I'll just buy fucking cones, because they got little cones, which are better... And plus, I don't like smoking joints anyways if they're just like, oh, here's a fucking joint, because it gets all sticky and nasty at the fucking end, and you're just like, ew. It's all over your lips and shit. If you just go buy the fucking cones that exist, they have little things on the end. Little, like, almost like cardboard pieces, so that you're not getting all the fucking residue and shit oh. all over the place. Maybe I'll just use my pipe then and just put some pipe tobacco in it. Sure. That'd be weird. <laughs> then it'd be flavorful they would have all that great smoke taste sure I mean weed has a taste as well yeah you know I've smoked weed probably five or six times and I don't really I couldn't tell you what it tastes like yeah 
once you get used to it, like, you'll, you'll taste it more, but, and, like, I remember back in the day, like, everything, it's way better now, now that it's, like, fucking legal to buy and shit, it's, it's good shit, it's, like, it doesn't taste like it was grown in a fucking closet. <laughs> Well, insulting the weed I'm going to grow before I start. <laughs> well, get good, scrub. Why haven't you started growing closet weed yet? Because I don't want to. No. Oh. I don't need to. <laughs> Is it cheap now? Because it sounds like... I mean... It's not cheap a... in regards to what? Like... I don't know. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, like... I mean... Cheap enough. It's not gonna be cheap if you're smoking it all fucking day. Like, you know, for me, I pretty I I go spend twenty five bucks every two months. Like, <laughs> it's pretty cheap for me. Yeah, that's cheap. That's cheap, dude. That's cheap. Yeah, the fact that you can go and get like pre rolls for three dollars a piece, like that's pretty fucking good too. I mean, that's first of some cheap shit, but like they've they got some crazy shit. You go into the fucking place and they're like all right this one is infused with whatever the fuck and it's like yeah i don't know and they're like well it's twenty dollars so it's fucking good <laughs> it's like okay i'll take the three dollar one please <laughs> yeah i am just trying to get high yeah i'm not trying to have a fucking crazy experience over here i'm not trying to get so high that i fucking have a panic attack i'm just trying to get high enough to watch some shit on tv and laugh my ass off like i'll spend 20 bucks on a really good cigar once in a while and I, that that does make a big difference, like getting getting a getting a nineteen whatever the fuck Padron. Yeah, Those they'll give you a big ass blunt. Yeah, it's a big ass blunt for twenty bucks. I'll blunt up. It's like yeah, that's that's cool, but like, um, if I'm gonna smoke it in like one or two sessions, I don't want to spend twenty bucks on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a vape. I'm gonna start real simple. Also, if I'm going to be controlling panic attacks at work, it makes sense to have something I could do inside. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that the flower's so romantic and exciting. Yeah. So, my, my, my return's supposed to be here at March 1st at the latest, so... Uh, February, March, yeah. So, prob probably in the, in the next month I'll, I'll join the, uh, the, the green people, the green community. Hell yeah, we gotta hang out. It's been like two fucking years. Yeah, John keeps John. Once in a while, when we talk, I'll we'll say something like, "Oh, let's see if something happens this next weekend or something." It, he's not he's not gonna do anything. Yeah, uh, he's scared. Yeah, he a pussy ass little. Oh, he's boy. scared. I'm gonna beat him up. It's probably just regular social anxiety. Like I haven't seen I I I, I couldn't go see them. My parents for Christmas, but I haven't tried to go out. Well, I haven't had a car to get out there. Uh, I haven't I haven't seen. Tammy and Dad for um, since last Christmas. Uh, yeah, it's been more. Mm. It's been more than a year since I've seen my parents, and they're they're kind of salty about it. Uh, they know I love them, but you know, like visiting yeah. visiting people. And I've 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 recovered from Crohn, so and I'm I'm vaxxed, and everyone's va everyone's either had it or been vaxxed, so it's a good time. Yeah, I just got a booster shot today. My arm hurts. What up, boy? I'll get my booster. What up? Boy. Yeah. Well, should I get that fuck? today? They don't fucking do anything. I don't know if I will get my booster. Um, it makes your arm hurt. That's true. And you know what else I can do <laughs> is I can I can show that uh to my employer and say I'm having side effects and not cut, show up to work. <laughs> <laughs> And then they'll listen to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to find and they'll this They'll be like, podcast. bro, you're fucking fine. That's true. That's very true. And you know what? I'm okay with it. That's fucking fine. This is just for us. Try doing a little expanding, but it's like, ah, this is way more work than it's fucking worth. Because we are... This podcast is not listenable. <laughs> like, I actually know one person that does listen to it. But, Who the fuck is listening to this? <laughs> Nathan, what's up, Nathan? We actually started watching that show that you were talking about, that cherry, whatever the fuck. 
new cherry flavor. Yeah, that one. Is Nathan your coworker? Because of your recommendation. Do what? Nathan, Nathan, your coworker, or Nathan from yeah. John's house? Okay. Yo, my coworker. Okay, what up, um, But uh, but yeah, no, nah, come the, this is unsearchable, and anybody like nobody's gonna fucking listen to this shit. It's everywhere. It's I too told much. you we should have been good at googling, but we the the premise of the show uh was falling apart, and also the pandemic would have killed the premise of the show probably. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm not trying to make anything out of this. That's this is just time for us to hang out. It's two platforms in a row that you took the name and it was just something it's completely unsearchable. <laughs> We're idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I don't think... That, no, that, it's not the... the I, it's it's not the name idea that's unsearchable. Is unsearchable. <laughs> not no, only that, no, that is. That then, is for sure. Then PBS uh, went and made it. <laughs> made yeah. the idea channel. <laughs> you fucking cunts. I know. Uh, Super cunts. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't think the name for this channel is unsearchable. The issue is that nobody's searching for everything we're talking about. So someone will start this shit and be like, "Oh, I thought they were going to talk about this. This is bye." <laughs> Are we relevant? Are we one of the relevant rabbit hole podcasts? Because I don't. We're relevant to me. Let me um, go to my YouTube app and search for us. <laughs> the. Rabbi Thol. The Rabbi Thol podcast. Do, 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 do. Okay, it shows me. Okay, at the top it says I'm subscribed to one. And then, alright, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's Joe Rogan, fourteen. There's another Rabbit Hole podcast with thirteen subscribers. I mean, we're not. No, I would just go ahead and say, oh, oh, whoa, we're all, we're we're somewhere on the first page, like the bottom. Hey, Psy- Psycho Stardust, Blasphemous Undertale, Food Teachers, the Rabbit Hole Podcast number something. See, there you go. We're we're relevant. We have eleven views. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few of our videos that have gotten some views. Like it's not a... the Rabbit Hole Impossible. Podcast that has, that has thirteen views is a bunch of. 10 minute videos of a guy too close to his computer monitor so he's fucking purple <laughs> it looks like a rant series huh but he has All a right. space between rabbit and hole yep like a loser fucking idiot can't even be confused for the rabbi soul podcast yeah <laughs> really limiting your branding yeah what an idiot Yeah, you know what? I wonder. I wonder how people think about spelling that when they do. If anybody is leaving it no space at all, no one's going to find us. <laughs> that's okay. Why would somebody be searching for us? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, who does? Who just types in the name of? Yeah, what would be typing? Yeah. No, yeah, that's not. It's got to be a suggested thing. It. Yeah, I'm such a boomer, dude. Yeah, no one's. No one's gonna find. Let's get our accidental keywords up. No, that's stupid. The rabbit hole. Yeah, I guess there, no one's searching for. Yeah, it's got to be about the topics, I guess. Yeah. It's got to be what's in the tags, and then just kind of hope that maybe somebody finds us charming. Hey, people out there. We're charming. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. We don't We're get... charming to ourselves for sure. We don't get too opinionated. We're not weird. We're goddamn adorable. Yeah, I'm pretty cute. Yeah. Adorable. Throw some filters on. So what else you been up to? (laughs) I watched uh, Letterkenny Season 10. That's a good thing to do with your time. Yeah, it uh, it was a thing. Sure was. I uh, liked that one episode. It was pretty good. The uh, where they went and uh, bought what's her nuts a truck. That was a good yeah, one. I like that one. Yeah, and you're totally right. Not enough McMurrays. I want all the McMurrays more. They're my favorite. More McMurrays. <laughs> Are they? Busy? And fucking Letter Kenny Live is gonna be here in March. I've never actually seen one of the live shows. I never bothered to look up and see if they're good. Me either, but I was I was just like, what the fuck? 
what the hell is Letter Kenny live? And then I, I, I looked at it, I was like, holy shit, you know? They've been touring yeah. for years. That'd be cool. I had no idea it existed. The guy who introduced me to Letter Kenny was, uh, went to one, he was telling me about it. Huh. They are kind of expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they gotta get their asses down here from Canada. Was it, like, 40 bucks a ticket? More than that. Fuck it, then. Hell no. 40 bucks was too yeah. much. I said 40, yeah. hoping you would say, no, it's 30. Fuck that. Oh, no, like, I would I would pay 40. Like, I've seen worse for more than that. Um, but, no, it's, like, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. Dude, that's the price ticket of a game. For, like, shit tickets. For shit tickets. <laughs> Then they got other shit. It's like, oh, this is two hundred dollars. I'm like, damn, son. Dude, All right. Breath of the Wild is sixty bucks. Do so they think that they're better than Breath of the Wild? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I might go there just to ask them that question and see what they do with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I wonder what they would say. Huh. Yeah. But, you know, it was season 10 was, you know, it was just as good as the rest of them, I guess. And, yep, cool. Oh, and the fucking prostate exam episode. That was a good one, too. I was going to bring that up. Did you see the trailer for Shorzy? No. There's not much of a trailer, but Jared Kiso's going to, gonna. I mean, he's still playing Shorzy. But they're not going to be trying to cover his face every episode, so I'm kind of disappointed. Huh. Is it, like, a different show? Yeah. Shorzy's getting his own hockey spinoff. Weird. I was wondering why they were like, okay, Shorzy's leaving. And I was like, why the fuck would you do this? The guy's in the fucking show. What do you mean? <laughs> the actor quit. <laughs> it's not like he's moving on to greener pastures. He's the main fucking character. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. All right. That's cool. I, I, am, I am disappointed that they're not going to cover his face, though. It does yeah. kind of, like, ruin everything. I missed that gag. That's such an old-school TV thing to do. And now it feels it's weird because totally it's, like, like, it's a spinoff of Letterkenny, and now it's just, like, it's just Wayne. <laughs> well, Wayne's not in the show. It's Shorzy. I know. But it's still a spinoff. It's still the same universe. He's going to have to... We're going to get to see what face he makes when he makes the Shorzy voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've seen it. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm looking forward to it. Mostly because it's going to be another six episodes I can watch. Because six episodes is not a fucking season and I'm sick of it. I can't, I can't make, I can't make a, watching a TV an event of any kind. It's so hard to like sit. I'm, sit I'm liking the shorter seasons honestly because there's just not enough time to fucking keep up with incredibly long shows fucking america with its 24 episode seasons and shit like bro i'm just gonna watch futurama again i don't want to start even shows that i was interested in i'm just i'm just gonna watch futurama i think futurama's fucking coming back or being rebooted or something that depends if they can make a deal with joe dimaggio or not i'm pretty sure he's just not in it they're, they're still they're still the, the, the disputing their contract he's still trying to get okay. more money out of them interesting all right yeah i just heard about it vaguely so i don't know he was the only one who hadn't signed but he was under the under negotiation i guess it's not confirmed 100 percent from either direction but that's the that's the presumed thing is that they're not offering him enough money even though he's on like two other matt graining projects right now i don't know what, what. <laughs> he's he's in high enough demand and act voice actors don't get paid shit and he's fucking bender uh, yeah. So that should be a check, whatever they want to, whatever the man is asking for. Like, right. Can't but, be that unreasonable. You know, people are gonna show back up for future fucking Rama. Like pretty much everybody in the main future Rama cast should get paid a fuck ton of money. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's like when I, it's like the last time I heard that the Dan Castellani or whatever the Homer Simpson wasn't making enough money. <laughs> That's it's like crazy. what are you talking about? He's Homer Simpson. <laughs> For like thirty-two fucking years. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the unfortunate voice in a lot of people's heads when they hurt themselves. Like you gotta, you gotta pay that man. He's an icon, and Joe DiMaggio is fucking Bender. 
Yeah. So I don't want another bender. If we could, I mean, it could, we can get close. You know how many people can do Kermit impressions and there's a wrong as fuck sounding Kermit right now? <laughs> it seems like Jim Hansen dying was the least problematic thing that could happen to Kermit. You can get another fucking person to play Kermit. I've got a decent Kermit. <laughs> like, Prove it! <laughs> I don't. I'm the only person without a good Kermit. And they hired me. <laughs> they hired me to do the voice of Kermit. <laughs> oh, damn. How much yeah. you making? Nothing. Voice actors don't make shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. That would it would suck so bad because there's people who have Bender impressions, but that God, that feels like that would happen. So they would get I don't know they get I know the the joke is tired, but they'd get Chris Pratt to do it, but so it would suck. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. The, mm. Have you, have you gotten? Yeah. Have you started your HBO Max run? Or are you still doing Hulu? Uh, I I got both of them. Ugh, I got both of them. Have you started Peacemaker? Yeah, I've seen the first three episodes. How? It's fucking dope. I like it a lot. It's the greatest. I meant it to. Is I meant very, to. Very good. I meant to learn the intro theme for this week, but I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> That intro is fucking ridiculous. It's awesome. I love it every time I see it. I've watched it on just on YouTube. I I only I only watched it the first time, and then I was like, I I can't I can't do it. I'm skipping it. It gets better every time you watch it because it takes a couple of times know. to realize that John Cena starts late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like you you see it the first time, but then it do, it doesn't click. A lot of the little things that don't click like. Yeah, John Cena starts out of time with the music, and then that that hold on them at the end is so funny. And yeah, I didn't yeah. notice that Eagly was looking down at his feet to check for his mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's so cute. But yeah, it's a it's a great show. I like it a lot. I'm uh, excited to watch more of it. Yeah, we can't talk about the ending since you're in episode three. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to watch shows. So, like, I, I watch it whenever I'm eating breakfast on days that I don't go to the gym. Or days that I don't weight train so that I go I go to the gym later. Uh, so I've only been able to do three episodes this last week. Yeah. Yep. I, watch, I watched it when it came, as it came out, at breakfast or dinner. Yeah, because, you know, long episodes. Like 50 minutes. Yeah, but I, it doesn't take me that long to eat breakfast, and I've got a lot of time in the morning. So that's one of the main reasons why I skipped the intro. Yeah, that's true. Cause it feels like if I eat, if I look down at my food, I miss too much of the show. I feel, I feel like I eat too fast. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat the whole time, but I kind of want to eat the whole time. There's a lot. There's a good yeah. taste for popcorn. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, because eating eating while you watch something is kind of cool, but I don't like popcorn squeaks in my teeth. Well, get better teeth. Cheat. I, I don't like the squeak. It's popcorn needs to be less squeaky. I'm going to write a letter. And chips are too loud. That's true. You had that issue with uh, styrofoam. You were that yeah. guy that doesn't like the styrofoam. Yeah, I don't, don't, let's not, we don't have to bring it up. Uh, so eating styrofoam is like probably, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. basically what popcorn is. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. It's horrible. Yeah. All like you gotta do it. is make sure that your teeth are wet and the, and the popcorn won't squeak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's not as bad with popcorn as you think it is. With your dry ass teeth. <laughs> I'm obsessed about keeping my teeth dry. <laughs> Const <laughs> constantly just chewing on dry rags. <laughs> uh, gross. Ew. I hate that. No. <laughs> Dry teeth are sticky. I haven't been to a dentist in a long time, but I remember that. Yep. Dry teeth just stick That's to your lip a little bit. That they do. Yeah, I actually prefer to keep my teeth pretty moist. Yeah, me too. I don't As think about be. it. <laughs> You're not sitting there licking your teeth? Mm. Weirdo thing Delicioso. to bring up. <laughs> hey, you did it. It's your fault. <laughs> hey, kids, keep your teeth dry. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, like you hung up on me again. Oh, you fucking bitch. Why do you keep touching the side of your head, dude? <laughs> ah, because my ear holes uh, aren't holding things properly, I guess. <laughs> Use the bigger suction cup. Yeah, that might work. Anyways, uh, yeah. Just tape, just take a piece of tape and tape an ear con into your ear. Because they have that no fallout fit. Not really. I've tried a couple different sizes. My ears are dumb. Yeah, they fell out of my ear, too. Yeah. I don't like these everyday earbud things. I think, like, the other ones that are closer to, like, AirPod shape and shit would work better. Actually, these things are fucking big. They're big yeah. and heavy. So it's yeah. like the weight is just pulling them out. <laughs> I was I thought about Skull. Skull Candy has some cute ones that are 25 bucks. And I, I don't know where the technology is now. Because Raycons are, were like a little touch for, for them, especially for the price, a little bit ahead of, of the competition. They had no lag or anything. Yeah, they I'm surprised at how lag. well they work. And the fact that they've lasted as long as they have. I definitely expected these things to fucking die after a month. No, they're good. I liked them. Yeah, I was surprised. They're still like doing... Doing great. I'm staying how Holding I am. Holding a charge, I'm... staying connected. Awesome. Yeah, I don't want to lose another set of Raycons because they're still 80 fucking bucks, so I don't want to do that. What I'm actually yeah. thinking about getting is a stereo to mono earbud. So when I'm when I'm t when I'm listening to music at, and taking calls, uh, I have both stereo sides in one ear instead of listening to mm -hmm. half the music. <laughs> and just ignoring what the people are saying on the phone. Well, I just I, for the, a lot of a lot of the music that I listen to, like I, especially the Jeff Rosenstock stuff, that dude loves to stereo pan shit. And he was mixing his own records. He still mixes his own records a lot. So some some of the things are a little. They don't have like any good spreads. So they're pretty pretty narrow in the one ear or the other. So I can either listen to the lead guitar or I can listen to the bass. I can't have both. Yeah. Yep hate that shit but they have well, i mean i like that shit but like yeah and an option for mono would be great yeah and it's hard to it's hard to find the right one because there's mono earbuds which are just just a left channel earbud only but then they i found i found some stereo to mono conversion earbuds that don't have a weird adapter or anything cool let me find one it's on my wish list where the fuck is my Whore. Your Amazon wish list? Yes. I made an Amazon wish list and I put it on my Instagram and on my TikTok. <laughs> it's hilarious. I, I was just thinking about it and I was like, I don't know, maybe I am a pretty girl. Maybe someone will buy shit. <laughs> yeah. And then whenever your birthday rolls around... Your your people can just go and look. Yeah, you know what's what weird? I've been I've been I've been avoiding putting it on my Facebook because I don't like I don't want people to know what I'm into or want because some of the things because I put some I put some pie in the sky dream shit on there. I put a ukulele on there in case you know huh? somebody wants me to send them feet pics, which I'll do that. I mean that's a fair <laughs> trade. Yeah, and then you know they're just dumb shit coloring books. There's category there's you can put categories on there. So there's just Hawaiian shirts. Uh, <laughs> but for some reason, I don't Hilarious. want my friends and family to know. <laughs> the they don't want might, you. The people who might potentially send me a gift for a reason, I don't want them to see it. <laughs> oh, okay, makes sense. Not really, but yeah, all right. Yeah. So, so for for the thirtieth year in the row, if anybody asks what I want for Christmas, I can tell them I don't know. You don't have to get me anything. Hmm. You should just say, "Go check out my Instagram and." Uh... Figure it out. And then they'll all get you the same thing. Whatever's cheapest. Now once it's bought off the wish list, it leaves the wish list. What? Yeah, so no doobies. That's crazy. It is. Technology. And I, I, I have the ability there had there's a feature on the wish list that says surprise me so I can see I don't see if anybody purchased it. I just I wait till it shows up at the house. I turn that bitch off right away. I want to know the second it's off the list because I don't want to go because I'll go to the wish list and grab stuff off of it 
if I have money and I don't want to don't want to run into that issue. That makes sense. Well, I'm thinking about it. I wonder I what's on my wish list. I have some stuff on there. I don't remember what it is though. Well, get your share link and put it on your Instagram bio. <laughs> eh, that's all right. <laughs> I want it to be a secret. Yeah, see? Makes you a little nervous to put stuff into the world that, hey, I'm into these things. No, it's not an issue of, hey, I'm into these things, as much as it's an issue of, why the fuck would you put that in there? <laughs> it seems it seems presumptive. I don't know. It does. It is very presumptive. It's it's weird. It's weird. But it's, it's also weird. hilarious for you, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is kind of against my character to do something like that. But you know, whatever. Maybe some idiot on Instagram who thinks uh, I color really good will <laughs> buy yeah. the coloring book. Yeah. Hell yeah. Could, another color. Yeah, there's coloring books on there, and it's so like if a coloring book producer sees my high quality content they might send me a book yeah they'll sponsor you send you some coloring books and there you go yeah i can Perfect. represent them in the crayon space because i'm i'm winning there's only one other person who's going hard on crayons they're they're the crazy crown lady and they do original art so uh other stuff i watched i watched uh, the book of boba fett watched that whole show it mm. is watched I let my parents get ahead of me on that because I wasn't that interested. It was kind of cool. Yeah. It was, uh... Took a minute to get into it. It's like The Mandalorian and then, you know, Episode 5 is just an episode of The Mandalorian. <laughs> Boba Fett's not even in it. <laughs> but, uh... And that was whenever that that was the stuff that I really liked. I mean, I like the stuff with Boba Fett as well. Like, there's some good shit in there, but it takes it's so slow at the beginning, and then they bring in characters that we know from the past, from movies and Dog, and, and stay away the from Mandalorian. The and that's when it gets good and crazy. You can spoil yeah. it for me. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't make time for things. I actually don't think it can be spoiled anyway. I mean, I don't know that there's too much to really spoil. Because, like, a lot of it's kind of self-contained. I mean, we got Luke and the Mandalorian and Grogu and Ahsoka in it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that was that was all kind of like this stuff that I guess could be spoiled. But there's a pretty cool fight at the end. In the, in the, the finale had a pretty cool... Uh, the whole thing was action. That was pretty cool. Um, Rancor shit happening. Explosions. The dark saber shit going on. So that's fun. Well, that's a spoiler. There's a dark saber. That's canon now. Yeah, I mean it was in it was in the Mandalorian and like Star Wars Rebels and shit. No, I don't watch. You that know, shit. it's all connected. Yeah, me either. But it's all it's all connected through all that shit because it's canon as well. Like there's characters from Star Wars Rebels in the Mandalorian and into this, so <laughs> it's it's all canon. It's just a lot. I know I'm not watching all the Star Wars shows that they're coming out with. It's just too much. And too many deep cuts. But Book of Boba Fett, I liked. So stuff that's kind of connected to the Mandalorian and shit, I'll watch. But beyond that, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll watch any more Star Wars movies that come out. I still haven't seen the last two Star Wars movies. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... It's for the best. <laughs> that's what people keep telling. Well, that's what you keep telling me. <laughs> well, John would tell me that too. I John's liked the hater. Force Awakens, and then I I liked the Last Jedi fine because it was like okay, they're setting up like shit that's different in the Star Wars universe. This is gonna be cool. And then because they just went into this shit and didn't write a full fucking story, the last movie was just garbage, complete fucking utter garbage. Where they were just like, 
the Emperor's back for no fucking reason, and we just aren't going to do anything that makes any sense. They're going on a fucking MacGuffin quest that out of nowhere for no fucking reason at all. And then everything they do, it's not like character choices. It's just like, we're going to do this thing, and then we're going to do this thing, and then we're going to do this thing for no fucking reason. And there's the movie, the end. People may or may not die. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> It was so fucking bad. It literally just fucking wrecked the sequel trilogy for me. And it wasn't that great in the first place. I liked Force Awakens. I felt like they did a good job with that. But it was just kind of like, hey, look, Disney can make an, a halfway decent Star Wars movie. And then they made another one, and that one was interesting. And then the final one was just like, nah, bro, fuck all of this. Let's shit all over it. It's done. <laughs> Ugh. It was just like Game of Thrones. They just yeah. fucked up the ending so badly that it's like, I don't even want to watch the first ones anymore. Like, it's beyond saving. I gotta watch it just to shit on it, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of time. I don't wanna, I'm not watching all the shows I actually want to watch. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. As soon as I finish Peacemaker, I'm gonna start Cowboy Bebop. Um... Yeah, I think that's the plan. But once again, action? it's like... Or anime? No, nah, anime. Anime. Because it's, you know, there's just not that much time. I got time to, like, watch one episode of a show in the morning when I'm eating breakfast, and that's kind of it. Yeah, and the anime's 22 minutes, so that's a good time for breakfast. Yeah. That way I can watch those on the day that I do go to the gym, too. But, yeah. Um, Finished all five seasons of Broad City. Not in uh, one sitting, but probably in the last month. That's kind of an nice. Older, How's that? It was really, it was really funny. I liked it the more it went on. It was a little cringy to have a Hillary Clinton episode, uh, especially since Hillary Clinton was in the episode. And then you're like, oh yeah, there were shows before 2016, and there were some shows that endorsed Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it, mm. it, it kind of, kind of weird to have it in there. Um, yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where everybody fucking thought she was going to win. Like, even South Park was like, they had to make a completely different fucking episode. <laughs> they were, like, so sure that Hillary Clinton was going to win, and then they didn't, and then they're like, fuck, Mr. Garrison is actually the president now in this fucking universe. Yeah, they usually <laughs> and they had to do that for four years. Yeah, they usually write both endings. Like, I know in the yeah. Obama election, they had both endings written. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess even they, even they were just like, no, nah, we're not going to do extra homework. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna yeah, work. because they set it up as Mr. Garrison as fucking Donald Trump as a president situation. As a joke, because it was never going to happen, and then it did. <laughs> and they just had to keep that. That's hilarious. And sad. And hilarious. But yeah, I've heard good shit about Broad City forever. Yeah, I was... um. The web series that I was working on, that I'm still working on, I guess, uh, that that was one of the like not the direct inspirations, but that was the only show that she had to talk about from a from like a, a, a reference point. So I've hmm. been meaning to check it out for years, but I didn't have cable or internet when it was new. But it's all five, all five seasons are on uh, Hulu, hmm. and it was really really funny. And I like Alana, and uh, she's kind of my my spirit animal of of just yeah. Uh, psychotic Jewish free. <laughs> it's just it's That's just a cool. buddy show. It's just a best friend show. That's it. Yeah. I, I want to say that there's nothing special, but it is it is special to a lot of. It's funny, and people like the duo. Is oh, TV yeah. pointless? <laughs> There's uh, nothing yeah, really mostly. to say about it. It didn't break any ground. It was fun. It was fine. Cause, cause the only product that Comedy Central still makes is that in South Park. So. Comedy Central still makes shit? They make South Park. Uh, do they? Don't they? I don't think so. They might for like another, not, not for very long at least, because there's deals with uh, Paramount Plus and HBO for like, one of them has the, the rights to 10 seasons or whatever, so I don't know. I know Comedy Central is shifting their business model to some kind of like low-key producing platform. 
because they're not a real mm. network anymore. But I've, heard, I've just heard that from comedians' podcasts that Comedy Central was switching up. Interesting. Because they're not a good place to do stand-up anymore, and they don't really have any shows. And nobody really wants to watch their crappy original series. I mean, that was the thing, is even... They were part of, like, the worst fucking packages for, uh, like, cable and shit. <laughs> it was like, yeah, you get fucking Comedy Central and all the sports channels. It's like, why is it with the sports channels, you fucks? Yeah, it was one of the only good things. It was the, one of the coolest places to watch anything. When it was... It's like... When you yeah, to it watch used to be TV. great. It's just yeah, I remember I used to watch Comedy Central a lot. Yep, exactly. Streaming has kind of killed the need for it. Yeah, and they rely on comedians who are not going to settle down at that. Net. Like it, it would be one thing if Comedy Central had all these great original things, and they were like, "This is the five bucks a month that you spend to watch all the stand-up specials you want to see, to see new crank anchors and all that kind of stuff." But I guess yeah. they're not. They're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, like net Netflix has the fucking comedy shit now. Netflix is the one putting out all the comedy specials. Yeah, I think what's most likely, if Comedy Central stays alive at all, they're going to do things like produce things and then put them on Netflix. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. They're a production house now. Weird. How the mighty have fallen. Yeah. Well, that's life. Shit changes. Oh, well. <laughs> Penises. Penises indeed. Um, other shit. Other shit. Uh, fucking, I finally watched the end of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It was cool. Not much to say about it. Great show. One of the best sitcoms ever. That That's all there is to say about that. Maybe I'll do that next. Uh, I don't think I really watched anything other than Peacemaker since the last time we've, we've had the conversation. And I loved it. Right. And I loved the ending. It was a great last episode. Cool. Did James Gunn direct all the episodes? I've seen one episode I know he's done where the it has first some three. girl's name on, on it. Okay. But basically, Interesting. he's the showrunner, so that's kind of the director for TV. Yeah. Those, those but I mean, the first three straight up said directed and written by James Gunn. He wrote so. all the episodes. I think he did... Let me see. Just Google that. I'm pretty sure he uh-huh. did most of them. I think I saw directed a director's name on on there once, but that could have been like a like a weird credit thing, trying to get a writer into a director's credit so they can get get a director's union thing. Hmm. Weirdo stuff because television credits are basically a secret language. Yeah, nothing means what you think it means. <laughs> exactly. Especially after listening to Kevin Smith talk about directing, uh, like, some of the fucking Flash episodes and shit, or Supergirl and all that, he's like, they all, they, they know what they're doing. They really don't need a director. Yeah, he brought back Film School Friday. Huh. Interesting. Is he oh still doing, God. like, 50 million podcasts? Jody Hill directed episode four. Oh, weird. All right. I knew I saw some girl's name. Oh, it's a dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ugly dude. He did some stuff with, like, the, uh... Um... God damn it. What's his name? Can't even remember now. It's right on the edge of my fucking brain! Oh, there's the girl's name. Rosemary Rodriguez directed episode five. Huh. Alright, so there's a couple people in there. Yeah, I mean, once he's he's laid down such a blueprint for the show, it would be it, it wouldn't be it's not like making a new vision to come direct. Yeah. Which most of it is fucking super interesting. There's a couple parts where I'm like didn't like the the camera movement during some of the action because it was like you know, like they're doing a fucking like flipping somebody over something or whatever and the camera basically goes they go basically completely out of frame <laughs> at a couple points, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's that was annoying to watch, but mostly super cool shit. Yeah, there was there were some spots where they leaned on coverage and missed instead of like following shit. But... 
Yeah. Uh, that was ju- that was. But, and then the fucking me. stunt work is dope. Like whatever John Cena's jumping off the fucking balconies or whatever, and they're just like, yeah, we'll hold on it and watch the fucking stunt person and or John Cena just fucking fall on his face. Yeah, they did some. They yeah, it was not. It did not look like an easy TV show to shoot. They didn't. It's not a CW show. <laughs> It's not a CW yeah. superhero. There's not people just pretending to run to a place and then talking for a second and then showing their faces instead of showing their hands when they fight. Yeah, they're doing some real expensive. fucking stunt work in there. Yeah, he uses his shield one episode, and Captain America can get fucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was pretty cool. It did look like they had trouble shooting that scene. It wasn't as like as fluid as Marvel. It's a giant fucking battle, uh, but it was pretty cool. And the and the shield stuff was good. Nice. It was. I got I got really jarred yesterday. Um, we watched the first Kingsman movie. Oh. I, I'd seen it before, but I forgot, like just how jarring those action like whip pan close up things were. Yeah. That fine attention to detail. <laughs> oh it's yeah. Kinda, it's kind of it's kind of messy. Cool. I guess you can tell what everything is doing, but it is over the over the topness of the action. I really appreciated. Oh yeah. Yeah. The fucking uh, the newest Kingsman movie is on streaming on I think it's on Hulu right now. Yeah, mom like, wants to watch free. the second Kingsman today, and I told her that it hit um, Kingsman hit HBO Max, the new one. Oh, okay, so it's HBO Max then. I had seen it on there. It could be in more than one place. I don't know if Warner yeah, Brothers owns somewhere. that property. Mm, I don't know. I don't remember. It's possible. Yeah, there's... Yeah, I don't know. Kingsman's a good movie. I king it. Yeah, I like that one. It's a good one. Uh, yeah, I saw a couple movies, and I'm going to go see Uncharted tomorrow, even though it's going to suck real bad. Do we know it's going go to suck? It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to suck, just video from games, seeing the trailer. Or is it because Nathan Fillion's not in it? Uh, I don't know. It could be both. Um, <laughs> it just, like, just from the trailer, it's like, it looks like it's going to be... Uh, I think it's also a Sony movie. I think that's another problem with it. Because Sony oh. kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, Sony um, doesn't love anything. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at these cool things you're doing. It's like, bro, this is so... This is just fucking smoke and mirrors, flashbang bullshit, no depth at all. It's... I don't know. Like, that's how a lot of their shit is. Like, Morbius is coming out, and I'm just like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> It's like, yeah, but it's kind of connected to, like, the MCU and the Spider-Man universe and shit. It's like, yeah, too bad they can't make a good fucking movie. Like, the Venom movies could have been good, but they're just nothing. It's like, these movies were written in fucking 1999, and they're just now making them. It's fucking bad. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I'm also not excited by anything. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm kind of expecting Uncharted to be, like... If it can be better than Tomb Raider, then I'll give it points, but I really don't expect it to be. I mean, Tom Holland is in there, and, like, you know, he's charismatic and shit, but I just, I don't know if he can carry the the full movie on his back if it's going to just be poorly written and just awful awfulness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I went and saw Scream 5. That was a movie. Is that in theaters now? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. It's just called Scream, though. Because, you know, they don't want people to think they have to see the other four movies before this one. Yeah. <laughs> you really don't. Uh, which is... I mean, yeah, you, you don't, but you do, kind of. Like, shit comes back from the first one pretty hard. Um... And I would call it the third best Scream movie. It's better than the second and third ones. Um, but it's made by Radio Silence, were the ones that directed it and shit. And they're the ones that did uh, Ready or Not. So it's directed pretty well. 
And and this is like the scariest the ghost face has ever been, and the fucking kills are super brutal and shit. Like, I was it was very intense, and I was pretty happy about that. But you know, with the whole scream being what it is, with the whole trope of like, all right, let's set up what the rules are now at the beginning and shit. It's like these super meta scenes and shit. It's like, all right, I can I'm I'm bored. We should you guys should just stop this. And then you know explaining just yeah yeah that, that was pretty annoying and then the fact that they had to bring back the fucking og like three people or whatever and i was like eh, i could really do without all of them <laughs> kind of messed up the rest of the thing because because it's like the rest of the cast the new cast had a really good um like charisma and you know repartee together and shit and you know they were charming and all that shit, and then you bring in the old cast that's playing this like it's fucking 25 years ago, like the first Scream movie, and it's like, doesn't feel like it fits very well, and then they're just kind of intense and annoying. Eh. Eh. Had some good, had some bad. Third best Scream movie. There you go. Well, there's no reason to make a Scream movie at all, so I, I guess whatever they chose was fine. Yeah. Good for had them. Some, had some cool kills in it, though. And and fucking uh, James and Chelsea from the YouTube channel Dead Meat were in it, and that was hilarious. Doing like a fucking mock review of Stab Eight about how 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 the the newest Scream movie basically is fucking garbage, and it's like haha, funny because this is a Scream movie. But I like those guys, so that was cool. Yeah, I don't know if I want to watch any brutal murders, but it is nice to hear that a horror movie is killing the fuck out of people and not just like cutting away or something or. Yeah, there's uh, there was some like trailers for some shit coming out that like looks fucking intense. Like there's uh, a movie that's just called X that looks really fucking intense. It's like a I think it takes place in like the 70s or whatever and it's like these people are going out to make this porn video or whatever and it's like feels very Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which there's a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, I guess, as well coming out. That looks fucking crazy intense as well. Yeah. So horror's getting really brutal again. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because it's kind of like the the early two thousands had some really brutal fucking stuff, but it was really overly mean spirited and just really hard to go back and watch now. Like most of Rob Zombie shit is just like too over the top, but not super creative. Like they're get. I feel like they're more creative nowadays with it. While they're being super brutal, so more interesting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how well it'll hold up in the future. Well, it's but yeah, those shocking things are shocking the first time. It's kind of like comedy, I guess. I mean, great kills are great kills, and they're always fascinating to see the special effects again when they're really successful. But <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah, a, it's only a real big moment once. That's that's true. But, but yeah, and, and then it was a lot of practical effects, too, and I was really surprised by that. Good. Finally got people who appreciate the old shit <laughs> making movies again, instead of just being like, I guess we should make a horror movie because they're cheap to make, and we can just throw some fucking After Effects blood in there, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Not so much of that anymore. So that's cool. If we were making a horror movie, there would be After Effects blood. But it would Definitely, because be it's the way walls. cheaper. Yeah. We're not going to dirty up someone's house. Yeah. Although John's trying to build a studio. He's going to build it himself in the backyard. He's going to throw up a hmm. pole barn or something. That's cool. Yeah, Would like to see that guy again. It's literally been over two fucking years. <laughs> He's trying to learn unreal engine so that he can so that we can uh like do virtual production stuff and have big sets mm. but he says his graphics card can't handle it and he's got to wait for the graphics card bubble to pop before he can really commit so he can get he's gonna build a new rig yeah that is fair that shit to unreal engines crazy man fucking uh corridor digital guys have been doing some of that shit doing like digital productions and all that um and their fucking computer systems and all that are insane. <laughs> Just 
Just the shit that they have to do. It's nuts. I could build all that stuff. I just don't have the budget. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it wouldn't yep. be. It wouldn't be crazy to do. It would probably take a like really going tits out on it. Probably take a few grand. Well, yeah, which is, in my opinion, crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, how much are cameras and shit? Like, it's. it's I mean, not that it big. just depends. Yeah, if and, I were... and getting the shit to rig up the like virtual cameras and the space to do it and everything. That, on like, top of that, I've been at my parents' house for almost a year, so I feel like I got to move out on my first check, which is probably not true for them. <laughs> they I mean, probably don't care, but it's it's. I feel I, I very would... similarly. <laughs> I feel I, I'm tempted to to re up if I can hold down if I get this new job and I can hold it down and I, and I find out that like my old job was most of the problem and I I can be successful again somewhere else. It would be tempting to like get some gear before I move out, but I'd also feel a lot of shame <laughs> spending spending yeah. big money. I'll have to talk to mom about it and see if they're cool with me doing that. But I want to shoot again and I don't want to lean on John and John keeps tossing camera gear out and like buying new sh shooting everything on the sony a7 III now and it, th i think that camera's ball i think it looks ugly um mm. like his 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 little the thing that's going to that might be going to the cw just looks like her story and i don't think her story looks that great uh mm. the, i don't i don't really like how the sony footage looks yeah i didn't think her story looked bad but it didn't really look yeah, I guess CW style is kind of... <laughs> I think that's kind of right, I guess. Yeah, it seems a little clearer. I don't know. I think... I, just I don't thought... know. I thought, it, I thought it looked pretty good. Just kind of knowing how it was done, though, makes it feel a little more amateur to me, but I think that's just because I was there when it was happening. I think it looks good. No, it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad. There's some stuff... I, there's some color grading mistakes I, I made trying to correct some of the footage too much like i put there's already it's already kind of magenta the footage is already kind of magenta from the sony having a, a magenta hue issue um and i don't like the way that it the the mid-tones bleed too much and that's hard to fix hmm. without going over the top i should have gone more over the top on the shadows i should have made the whole thing just darker uh in post but yeah that's there's it doesn't look bad. Nobody who watches it is going to sit down and think, oh, this this was shot by an idiot. But <laughs> it, it was, um, it's not that good. John's, John's always missing white balance because he's always not doing the last 10% of work or whatever he's doing. So he's got some shots that will be gray no matter what you do to him because the colors are so mm -hmm. confused. It's gonna, it, you would have to sit down and like really professionally grade that. Like take to, like it would take a day to, fit, to fix a scene. Uh, yeah. Which, her story did not have that luxury. I did not get to super color grade it because we had the deadline. Yeah. It looked fine. I just don't care for the way the Sony footage looks. Having shot both Blackmagic and Sony and, and some can, and Canons and whatnot and Lumix, uh, I just think Blackmagic looks pretty tits. I could spot amateur Blackmagic yeah, footage. I, I could tell you when somebody's used the Blackmagic pocket cinema camera and then their version of color grading is just turning up the saturation and contrast a lot that's my favorite kind not yeah. really I, I prefer i prefer to turn down the saturation but <laughs> well, i like a good day well yeah. i'll try i try to I mean, make it, it depends pop on what contrast. it is but i've been touching the saturation uh adjustment last uh, and that that dude that british dude kept saying stop over saturate i was just really nailing the contrast that's just what good contrast looks like i didn't touch the saturation Mm. Yeah. That's how it be. Uh, I've been struggling to get good. I've been some of the coloring pages I've been doing. I've been trying to set in darker scenes, and trying to make shit look dark in crayons is kind of difficult. <laughs> and I'm yeah. not think, I'm thinking about how the light hits the hits a body really well, and I'm doing good stuff with that. But then I I did I said I set a scene at sunset. And then I came outside, and I, I realized that the trees are dark at sunset. <laughs> They're really yep. dark at sunset. And my trees are yeah, well lit. Yeah, basically black. Yeah, <laughs> my trees have a lot of color. And they're backlit, which gives them, gives you the idea that there's light hitting it. But, it yeah, i got to do better. 
Gotta, I mean, if you're trying to make shit look realistic with crayons for some reason. <laughs> I am, because I'm the best at crayons. These things take me two hours. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, which kind of makes me want to quit. Because <laughs> I, I know I'm know i spending a couple of hours on these things, making them look uh, good. But then I'm like, I just spent two hours with crayons. For what? Yeah, but... <laughs> What is two hours but, of time worth? Yeah, but does it make you feel happy? Yeah, I like it. Do you like doing it? Yeah. Is it relaxing? Yeah, it's fairly relaxing. I mean, well, there you go. I need to get a new candle for dog farts. Because, I don't know, it's, it's nice to have a candle when you're doing a relaxing thing. A nice smell. Your coloring. Yeah, I keep a candle in my car. That sounds sketchy. What if you fall asleep and the candle's lit and you're flailing because you, you're, you're a sleep thrasher? It's because I do seances while I'm on the road. I put ghosts all over the highway. As you should. Yeah. Because there's ghosts on the road. That's where a lot of people die. A guy I went to school yeah. with in the first grade actually just like went into a median at 70 miles an hour. Damn. Yeah. There was a lot of people at my school that fucking died during school like like high school tons of fucking people died fucking drunk driving accidents and just accidents and shit it's crazy it's like wow and and one one uh person was uh kidnapped and butchered and it was uh yeah pretty fucked up um <laughs> yeah saw a flyer for her actually like last year they're trying to still trying to figure out who killed her. Crazy. Oh, was she was was she the girl who got put in the bags and was found near that homeland? Yes. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you knew her. Yeah, <laughs> I went to school with her. She was uh, Matt's ex-wife's like one of her friends. It was crazy. Brutal. That's really sad. <laughs> Yep. Well, I hope that never happens to me, but I also have a large white male privilege, so. Yeah, that's true. Probably it's very not unlikely that it'll happen to you. Yeah, and I'm not hot enough for someone to want to rape me anyway, so. I don't know. Yeah, but, the, well, the, the people who would do that, well, no, there's some gay black dudes who hit on me that could probably take me out. <laughs> that's very specific. Well, it's. Unnecessarily I, specific. <laughs> Well, I do, I do better, but that's just how my demographics break down. I do better with black people, period, women and men, and then I do pretty good with the gays. Uh, and then it goes into just ghastly-looking white women. Just, nothing will make you want to achieve fitness more than, like, knowing that the people who you can fuck, you don't want to fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's pretty fair. I think my demographic is literally nobody, though. So. <laughs> well. But I that's know. okay. I don't I, know, maybe not. Because I do get hits on fucking, like, dating shit every once in a while. Like, I don't even get on there anymore. And it'll be like, so-and-so likes you or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, oh, take a look. It's like, mm, no. <laughs> nah, that's okay. Yeah, because if you said yes, you'd have to go to someone's house and meet them and think about if y'all are going to bone or not, and then you might have to hide a boner, or you got to pay for them to do stuff. Yeah, it's it's kind of an issue of, like, you know, she might be cool, but it's like, am I at a point in my life right now where I want to put forth the effort for this much? Yeah, I don't know. Because you can spend hundreds of dollars getting to know a girl. And do you have that? Uh, not really, no. Yeah, it's gonna I'm suck. I'm just getting caught up on everything. I am, uh, I'm, 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 I'm too busy, uh, investing in tattoos right now. What's your deadline for moving <laughs> out of your parents' house? Uh, just like, uh, you said, um, earlier, uh, they don't care how long I stay here. That is, that's kind of the deal. I plan on after uh, tax season because there's going to be apparently a shit ton of overtime because we're not getting temps and everything this year. Um, so I've already signed up. I'll be working 50 hours a week, four hours on Saturdays. 
um, once that kicks in. Um, and that's time and a half, so I'll be getting paid like, I don't know, 24 or 20. Yeah, somewhere between 24 and 26 dollars. I don't know exactly what I make um, per hour. So that's an extra like 200 something dollars a week. And that's like two months worth of overtime potentially. And yeah. then I'll have the money to move out. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a down payment. Yeah. And that's what I'll do then. But I also got my, my tax return, which I've already decided. I'm putting that towards tattoos because I want them and it's for me and fuck it. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and be responsible with all my money. Fuck that. No, I'm getting about a grand back and I'm going to, I am going to buy some jackass things. I hadn't thought yeah, about video got... games, but I, you know, there's some games I wanted to buy. Yeah. I want to get that new Kirby game when it comes out. Hell yeah. I want uh, Metroid Dread. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. I want Pokemon Still, Snap. Still, ah, sixty dollars, man. Yeah, that's hard. Pokemon Snap, you should get used. They have a bunch of them at like all kinds of fucking places. Forty dollars. If you go on the fucking Switch Store, it's still sixty. Save I'm, twenty bucks by getting it used. I'm gonna get a sound I wish card. I had. I'm gonna get a sound card because I do audio work sometimes, and I have speakers, and I just want the better noise floor and amplification um and it's that makes sense you know it's 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 worth it's worth i've made this professional editing rig and it should have a sound card because i will use it um that's what else junk was i gonna oh i'm gonna get a new keyboard because my keyboard has too many sticky keys and i stole it from francis tuttle fucking 10 years ago uh, <laughs> And then there's some really, right. um, there's some immaculate coloring books that I was just going to get next check the, um, by Alan Robert. He makes these super detailed horror themed uh, coloring books. Ooh. But they are like 15 or 16 bucks. Hmm. But, you know, I spend two hours a page. Is it like super detailed though? They're, they can't see all of the pages, of course, but yeah, some of them are pretty detailed. Like he works pretty hard on these. I would spend I would spend probably that much money for something that's like cool and very detailed that'll take a while to actually do. What's some? Um, e. Okay, some users posted some images on the Amazon. Get out of my face, notification! I will fuck you, dude. Get out. Don't you fuck that notification, Jeff. Here we go. I'll send you. These are, these are in the, uploaded from the reviews. There's enough white space in some of these that I can uh, draw my own shit in it and set the time of day and do things like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. I don't have any horror yeah, themed like shit. Yeah, I like that. All my, all my shit's cute anime stuff and then that Zelda book if I ever get it. Which is also cute anime. Yes. But it, I, I would like um, less hose. I don't know. Because it's, it's not... It's fun coloring the hose. Uh, but I don't know. It's still... I want to vary up the content a little bit. Because I don't want to just be the anime ho channel. Because even though that's getting enough attention, I don't really like it. <laughs> yeah. I need to get in on making these fucking coloring book things. Because he's selling this shit for 16 bucks a piece. And they're fucking like cool shit that I would also like to draw. Like... Yeah, I just have and, to work on doing stuff that's clean and actually, you know, have more time in my day. I just need a time machine, honestly. Give me a time turner from Harry Potter. And your cut Fucking is really good. Like, um, there's there's two price ranges between a dollar and I think thirteen dollars, where Amazon only takes uh, three percent of something like that. So I, I was looking at the six or seven dollar coloring book range. You get five dollars out of that. Yeah. So if you were, if you had a good one that that sold a couple thousand copies, that's ten thousand dollars, like from Hell from yeah. a small public, and it's it's uh, passive income. So as a, and if you keep marketing it, it, it keeps growing. Yeah, I might I might do that because that's the kind of shit that I I was drawing like some crazy fucking just weird ass line art stuff, and. Uh, 
you know, I'm trying to expand my shit. I've been working on drawing Disney princesses for the last month or so. But, uh, I really like doing just the really fine detailed stuff that people would have fun coloring. So, maybe I'll jump in on that. I'm going to do the easy road. I'm going to go and let, let do what a lot of people do and just get free vector art and make coloring books out of that. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. I'm going to teach myself to draw again because I was having fun doing it the last time I tried to, to, to draw. Uh, but, you know, that's a slower process. And I, I, I have Adobe Illustrator, but I don't have a pen tool. So, I'd be, I don't know. I'd have to use vector art at some point anyway. Or I'd have to do it like I did the done art. Dude, I have it. a... I have a second uh, drawing tablet that I can just give you. Okay, if I get into drawing, if I if I'm doing drawing regularly, I will take your 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 shit. But I don't want to I don't yeah. want to just take it and hoard it if I'm not going to actually do it. <laughs> All right. Cuz yeah, I couldn't like cuz I got a new one that was like, you know, had better pressure sensitivity and stuff. Um one they cost a lot more, but did that, and I was like, what am I going to do with my old one? I'll just hold on to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, in case the other thing breaks. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't need a good one since I'm just doing, I'm not doing any detail. Like, it might be fine line detail work, but it's just, I'm making lines for a coloring book. Yeah. I'm not doing any shading, I'm not applying any color. Yeah, should work pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how I, if I actually sit down and do it. Because I've been not doing any of the stuff I'm supposed to be doing. I had an FPS itch, so I, I downloaded Dirty Bomb again. It's a free mission-based shooter. Uh, so if you suck at the game, if you suck at killing people, you can just go complete objectives to, to help win. And there's there's a medic and things, so you can run around and heal people. It's got great yeah. mobility because you can wall jump and shit. And uh, uh. I realized my mouse was super fucking awful, and it doesn't have a good refresh rate or a good DPI, so my movements are so jerky, it was, like, impossible to correct bad aim. I had to, like, basically get my aim right on the first shot, or I wasn't going to hit anybody. So I bought a new mouse. Oh, nice. It was also too small for my hand to move around, because if I tried to move, I was just dragging my hand on the table. And my mouse, my mouse pad, my mouse pad was a a a side of cardboard from an Amazon box. So I got a desk mat. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's teal. It was like thirteen bucks. It's some kind of faux leather thing, but it takes up yeah. most of the desk space. So I have all the mouse room I need, and it's a large hand gaming mouse. So it actually fits my fucking hand. Crazy with and your it, giant hands. Yeah. And as I talked Your big about, meaty claws. it could be a little bit bigger. They make bigger ones, and I should have gotten a bigger one, but this is fine. Um, it's got finger grips in it, so it, I don't, I'm not rubbing my hand on the desk trying to move around anymore. So that's all I really needed. And I did get the an yeah. MMO gaming mouse, so I have a 12 key t uh, pad on the side of the mouse for hotkeys. Jesus. Yeah, and I don't. Yeah, I use that as much as I thought I did. I would. I fucking don't. It's hard to. <laughs> Because for the shooting game, all I would really need, because my I'm fine with my left hand being just directions and then my thumb for the space bar. That's really comfortable. But I've actually gotten pretty mm -hmm. used to hitting control or C for crouch or shift for run. And to do a long jump, oh. you have to be running and then tap, crouch, and jump. This so is too hard. Yeah. Well, I've gotten used to doing that all that with my left hands. I thought it would be easier to just put, put a C on my right hand, put it on one of the numbers. So I put it on four. Uh, but I've had a hard time switching that because the crouch jump timing is actually a little specific and it's hard to mm. communicate that. It's easier for me to do that with my left hand because that's my, that's my fretting hand. It's got good fine motor skill. My thumb doesn't, gotcha. my right thumb doesn't do anything with its time. My right thumb is fucking useless. I can lose it. I don't, I don't use it for anything. Well, start hitchhiking with it. Okay. I do have hitchhiker's thumb. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, they won't pick you up without it. <laughs> yeah, is that just a normal ass thumb? Gross. Get the fuck out of here. You're not a hitchhiker. Hope you fucking you die. Yeah, you're probably a murderer. Yeah, that's the difference. If you don't have that's a murderer's thumb. thumb. You're a murderer. <laughs> uh, murderer's thumb. No, I've got the victim thumb. Ah. Uh. you listen to anything? 
Nah, but I saw another movie. Okay. I watched uh, Death on the Nile. Oh, I saw that on your Instagram. Yeah. The sequel to that Orient Express movie we watched. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was very... It was very uh, fun to watch. It was a lot of eye candy. Very pretty people doing pretty things. And it was in Egypt, and it was shot really nice, and the cinematography was super dope, and the lighting was cool, and they were on a boat, and stuff happened. Hot people are great. It's nice to see hot people. Yeah, right? Wow. I don't know why they get so much shit. I'm into them. Yeah, they're fun to look at. What you... it's, it sucks to be ugly people like me, though. Very yeah. Sad. Like, that's got to be weird that that's just one of your talents, is that you're hot. <laughs> right? It's just like, ah, oh, check it out. You won the genetic lottery, you fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, just look at them. They're, so, they're, they're kind of cool. They didn't even talk yet. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything. Just look at look at the butts, dude. Come on. Yeah, We're all like fucking. About it. <laughs> yeah, fucking Gal Gadot in this movie. Like, wow, fucking, just fun to look at. She's so pretty. She's just pretty. Yeah. Like, she doesn't even need curves. She's just pretty. She could be skinny. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying she should get skinner. I'm saying if she was less, you know. Figured, then if she, she was skinnier, then it's still okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she could get chunkier too. Like when, yeah. like I don't know, if something happens to her self-esteem and she falls off, or like I, I don't know, I'd still, you know, 50 pounds from now, I'd still be into it. Maybe uh, a little, you know, teeth stain, you know. Sure. If she falls down the stairs and loses a leg, I'd probably take her in, whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I need to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Um, as I said in my review on my Instagram, like basically the ending being what it is, it's like, yeah, it couldn't be like what the, the murder on the Orient Express was again. So it's not as like satisfying as that because that could never happen again or it just wouldn't be satisfying. Um, so... I don't know. Then is not as surprising as it could be, but it was it was still really good. And just like, man, Kenneth Branagh is like an amazing director. I don't know what the fuck he did with Thor. That was <laughs> such a fucking travesty. You yeah. remember that movie, the fucking Dutch Angle movie? Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, I was Dutch trying Angles? not to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one, but I don't know why like he did that. Was bothered by that, but me <laughs> until I pointed it out to people. Yeah, it was it was so weird. Now I can't fucking watch that movie because it's like, why are the cameras just sideways the whole fucking movie? Why? Why is this a thing? And I've heard other people mention it since then as well, like fairly recently actually, that that movie is all Dutch angles. I'm like, that's crazy, man. It does make but the scene I, look bigger. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, but he did really good with this movie. And uh, yeah. I guess that's all I'm gonna say there. Don't want to spoil the ending. It wouldn't make any sense to do it anyways. You won't know who these people are. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this person anywhere? was the killer. Nah, I just went into theaters like last week. Oh, uh, then I won't see it. Yeah, you might. I might. It might hit streaming eventually. I'll see it when it's streaming. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um. So then I played a game. You probably can guess the game. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty fucking cool. I don't know how other people are liking it. I have not watched any content about it because, you know, I don't want shit spoiled. Ugh. Is it long? I mean, I don't... I mean, it definitely has the opportunity to be long, because it's got a lot of shit going on. Um, I've put 34 hours into it right now, which is not a lot. 
Um, I think I'm getting to the end of the, the actual story, though. And I've done some exploring and shit. Because it is... Um, pretty Breath of the Wildy. But, like, more limited, I guess. Because, like, I've, I've found the edge of the map a lot more often in this game. And there's a lot of shit that just feels kind of dumb. Because it's based on... Like, like in the old Pokemon games, they had HMs. But in Gen 7, they added just ride Pokemon. So you don't have to, like, have members on your team just fucking have terrible moves because you need them to move through the fucking map. Um, so that's kind of a thing that limits you from the start. You have to get specific... You have to get to certain points in the game to get specific Pokemon to be able to do things like climb or go in water or fly, you know, shit like that. Um, which, you know, that's how the fucking games were initially, but whenever it comes out, like... This is, like, set up like Breath of the Wild. It's very limiting. Like, you can't go over ledges at all. <laughs> it's the most frustrating thing on the fucking planet until you get the Pokemon that allows you to climb shit. Um, and, and the battle system is different as well. Like, in the way that... Like, it's still turn-based, but, like... It's different because if a Pokemon is fast enough, the second you get into battle... You throw out your Pokemon, you don't have an option to switch before they just attack you. Um, and if they're fast enough, you can just, they can attack twice before you can attack once. It's pretty crazy whenever that shit happens. Like, it was so confusing to start with, because I was like, why didn't that Pokemon attack me again? Is it, like, doing fucking... Like, why did I get to attack twice in a row? This doesn't make sense. Um, are they just doing, like, fucking easy mode at this point? But no, it's because my Pokemon was that much faster than the other one. So, the battle mechanics are a little different. Um, stuff works a little different. Like, they used hypnosis on, or I used hypnosis on somebody, and it didn't put them to sleep immediately. Like, they were still able to attack, and that fucking threw me off. I'm like, do they have, like fucking sleep talk or something what's the deal with this but there aren't any abilities in the game because that would just make everything fucking crazy <laughs> so abilities are gone but they still have like natures and stuff so that's kind of cool um yeah it works way better than i thought it would whenever it was announced and everything like you kind of like fall into it really easily um it would be impossible to nuzlocke this game though like, 100% impossible. Because, like, the shit you're running into, you don't know what levels they are until you fucking attack them. And they might just one-shot you before you even get a chance to set up an attack. And they fucking attack the, the human player as well. They attack you. Like, if you run out of Pokemon, they will fucking attack you. <laughs> I saw that on your stream. I like the idea of the Pokemon trainer dying. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of frustrating, though, because you drop... You drop items when this happens. You, you drop items, it? and then to get them back, other players in the game, like hey, playing, have earbuds. to go find your shit, and like they'll send it back I can't to hear you. you, bro. Like I've found so many people's like again. satchels or whatever, and like you get like points for finding them and returning them to that people. Hung up on me. But like nobody's returned my shit. Like I've only died twice though, so it's like. But this last time I died, I dropped some fucking exp candy and some ultra balls, and that pissed me off. <laughs> And that was just from fall damage. Because the flight mechanic does not work that well. It's very difficult to, like, get down. I'm just going to wait for him to call me. Because if um, I call him, we're going to call each other. And, I'm gonna and, and you'll just die from fucking and, fall damage. Y'all know crazy. how that is when calls drop. Um, but yeah, and it's like the first time that Pokemon are actually kind of fucking scary, man. Like, goddamn Paris is just a, a violent maniac. He's not calling me back. What if he's waiting on me to call him? Like, I hate running into those things in the early Pokemon games, too, because they're like, oh, yeah, Maybe we got Slash, and that shit will fuck you up early game. Boom, you're dead. But, like, in this game, okay, like, you, you expect, like, Bring smaller him. Pokemon. Oh, shit. Hello. So when the Pokemon trainer dies, he drops what? Wow. <laughs> okay. I talked for so long. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you... Alright. So, if you die, you drop items. That's lame. And that sucks. Because you can't get them back, like, by yourself. Like, it's it's a mechanic in the game where, like, you, you find, like, people's shit that they've dropped randomly because they've died or whatever. 
and you uh, you give it back to them via like you know the internet or whatever, and you get items and points and shit for that. Um, but people have to do that to you to get your shit back. So you know I've only died twice, but like the last time I died, I dropped uh, EXP candy and Ultra Balls, so that sucked, and I still haven't got them back. Hey Makes dog, me sad. stay close. It's dark. I don't trust you anymore. Yeah, you untrustworthy fuck. Yeah, I think I see him though. That's that's weird picking up other people's stuff. I don't like I don't like that stuff anymore. I'm I'm okay making games easier in that regard, like the death penalty, if it's just annoying, <laughs> and they if, and the game doesn't benefit from it being like Dark Souls. I understand. Make that you know dying in Dark Souls should be annoying and hard, but like dying dying in Pokemon, so dumb. Dropping your eyes. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm okay with it. Like, you just gotta be sure to keep, uh, you know, I don't carry a lot of items with me, anyways. Just shit to make pokeballs and revives and potions, basically, which you kind of can find all over the place. Uh, so that's not too bad. But you know, if you're carrying shit like exp candies or shit that you would use to like evolve Pokemon, and you drop that shit, that fucking sucks. So I just keep all that shit in a nice little chest. At my uh, at my house, uh, so I don't got to deal with any of that. Because you can kind of pull it out anywhere; it doesn't really matter. Um, and you only have so many slots to carry items, anyways. So I'm constantly just moving shit over there, so I'm not dropping anything super useful. I'm surprised that you can craft pokeballs. That seems like really advanced technology. Well, I mean, in Gen Two, they brought that that in you go see kurt and he makes you fucking different pokeballs out of apricorns and that's what you're doing in this you just fucking you know go get apricorns and tumble stone and bam pokeballs um and then like more advanced pokeballs you, you need more shit but like bits of iron or whatever um but yeah it's it's pretty cool um this is, like, the first time that Pokemon are actually kind of fucking scary. Like, shit you don't want to run into. <laughs> like, uh... Um, Paris, for example. A Pokemon that I didn't like running into in the early games either, because they always got fucking Slash, and they'll crit that and kill you immediately. Um, those things are aggressive as fuck. Like, there's some Pokemon that are just super aggressive that'll chase you down and start attacking you and shit. And other Pokemon that are just like, oh, yeah, you, you're cool, whatever. Like, just walk by. I don't care. But, like, those ones that'll chase you down, man. You gotta dodge that shit. You gotta fucking roll around like fucking Dark Souls. And... Yeah, they say aggressive in the Pokédex entries, but that doesn't really matter when they can't chase you. Yeah, it matters now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Coming from the sky and fucking... And then there's, like, these alpha Pokemon that have, like, you know... They're just, like, stronger than other ones that you're fucking dealing with, and they're, like, super aggressive um, that you have to fight and try to catch them. It's crazy. I found an Alpha Lucario that's, like, level 70 that I caught. It's pretty fucking dope. Yeah, Lucario's deadly in Smash Brothers. I wouldn't want to just run into that. Yeah, I found him randomly on a mountaintop. I was like, what the fuck? Is he's just over here. I'm, like, flying around, and I just see him down there. I was like, holy shit. That's he's where they all by himself. Out. They're up there on the mountaintop being an anime character doing charge shots at nothing. Straight up, that's what he's doing. He's <laughs> fucking Kamehameha waves shooting in the sky and shit. I was like, whoa. Yeah, but like a lot of these things, man, you go, like I found, I was in a cave and there's a fucking alpha crowbat that was like level 60 and I was like level 20 and he just wrecked my whole team. I had to mm -hmm. run out of there. Like, there's all kinds of shit you'll run into that is just, like, way too powerful for you to do anything about. That sounds like enough fun that I, I probably, if I buy a game, I'll, I'll get that instead of Pokemon Snap. Yeah, there's and there's a lot to it. There's a lot of, like, fucking side quests, and a lot of the, the, the NPCs are fucking funny and shit. Like, it's pretty well written in a lot of aspects. Then you got this, this stupid-ass, like, you know, the rivalry shit going on, which is just boring. I'm so sick of these rival teams that are like, no, nah, bro, water, no, nah, bro, fire. Like, it's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, why can't you be better than this? Yeah, why uh, can't you be Crips and Bloods? Yeah, fucking kill each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's got a lot of cool 
cool stuff. And like the day night cycle, like the ghosts come out at night and shit, so you can be out there and catching ghosts and stuff. And then there's like um, the thing with uh, God damn it, I can never. Why I don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering this one Pokemon's name. Um, Spiritomb. Damn. Like, Spiritomb and its Pokedex, it's always said that it's made from, like, 108, like, evil spirits or whatever. So, throughout this thing, like, somebody gives you the fucking stone that it's, that those stoles are, like, locked in. And you're going around finding fucking Will-O-Wisps and stuff, too. And I'm like, this is cool. I can't wait to see what happens when I get them all. It's gonna be crazy. So there's a lot going on and a lot to do with catching Pokemon and different versions of Pokemon. And then they have like a space rift distortion thing that happens every once in a while. And you go to this area and there's just like random ass shit like items and uh, different Pokemon from like other games and shit. Like other regions that you can't get any other way that'll just pop up and start fucking attacking you. And you go in there and you catch them and shit and fight them. And sometimes it's scary because it'll be like five Pokemon attacking you at once and it'll just fuck you up. It's crazy. That sounds really dope. I'm shooting people in the face, though. I don't, I don't know if I have any time to do anything else. I mean, that's pretty dope, too. But, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot to this game that I was not expecting. I was very pleasantly surprised. I don't know how other people received it. I've seen a couple other things about people being like, you know, the, the battle mechanic is not as good as, you know, previously, which... I kind of agree with because it, there's a lot of questions with it like and then there's like other styles that you can do attacks in that like take more PP but will be either stronger or faster that I just have not fucked with at all because I'm like no nope, too complicated not playing with it I'll just over level my shit if I need to <laughs> do something yeah it seems um, like speed got a really big advantage in this game yeah it kind of did um, but there's also like other effects and stuff that are helpful with that um like they've they've added other kind of effects and stuff like a couple that I've, i think the only one that i've come across that was kind of different is uh frostbite is a thing instead of just freezing completely um which is kind of weird yeah and then there's like actual pokemon that you have to kind of fight as a human which is crazy because they have like these big fucking boss fights that are going on where you actually are doing like kind of like some platform type shit you're dodging attacks and stuff and you actually have to like hit the pokemon with shit for a while and then you can toss out a pokemon once it gets to a certain point uh to take out a big chunk of them and then you just kind of got to do this shit for a while and uh that's a little frustrating for me because i'm bad at it uh <laughs> i'm like this is a fucking children's game and i'm sucking at this shit uh but it's pretty interesting I can't wait to see the speedrunners take this. Yeah. Like, this game is super unnuzlockable for sure. They'll just fucking kill you immediately. You don't know what the shit's going on. Just impossible. But, like, speedrunners, that would be interesting to see. Because it is kind of like a linear... It's a pretty linear game. You know, you have to do certain things and rank up specifically uh, to, to move on to the next part or whatever. But at the same time, there's just so much other shit to explore and so many Pokemon to catch and just stuff to see in different ways. Like, you know, seeing Pokemon use specific attacks a certain amount of times and shit, like to fill up the Pokedex to a certain level, which is all like a whole bunch of side quest shit and you get different things. Like, there's all kinds of shit and different items to buy, like for Rotom and stuff. So you get the different versions of Rotom. This is madness. And then I don't even... I haven't even got to see fucking Arceus yet, except for, like, at the very beginning. Like, I don't even know how this all plays in. <laughs> this might be a 200-hour game. Well, I feel like I'm... I mean, to 100% to it, probably, I would say that. But I think... I think I'm in the end game at this point, because I just did the fucking late Guardians and stuff, and I think we're... We're to the point where I'm about to see some legendaries. Um... But yeah, like, it's, it's been, it's, the, the exploration shit is super fun. And actually, like, seeing these Pokemon just being in the wild and shit is really cool. 
and they didn't even like change their cries and stuff. It's so cool. Like you're just out wandering around and you hear like the fucking Pokemon cries from like the Gen One games where it just sounds like <laughs> static kind of sorta, and you're just like, oh, there's a Gen One Pokemon around here somewhere. I wonder what it is. <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, and they even gave Pikachu his fucking Gen 1 cry back as well. I was like, holy shit, he's not just saying Pikachu, and that's awesome. I love it. So, I recommend it. I think you can get, you get me, a good amount it. of fun out of it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. They, the only other, uh, well, Elden Ring seems cool too, the new Dark Souls that George R.R. R. Martin did the world for. I want, kind of want it. I feel oh, like yeah. I, I feel socially pressured into wanting that. I'm not actually excited by it, but I know it's going to be really good. Yeah. And really pretty. I'm excited to watch somebody play it. I would just get so fucking frustrated. Yeah. I'm just not skilled enough for it. I've been playing games that require me to play other people lately. It's just Smash Brothers and Dirty Bomb. And, and I could, uh, I could, you know, I wouldn't mind just a regular com- computer challenge because I get tilted sometimes. I get tilted playing yeah. Smash Brothers because it's so personal to one-on-one fight people. I don't really get mad at Dirty Bomb. Except for some of the characters that you can unlock are just fucking cheaters. Like, there's a guy with a katana that has a cloaking mechanism. And it's like, it's an FPS game. You shouldn't be able to go invisible and sneak up on people. You should oh, have yeah, to that's earn shit. sneaking up on people. It's fucked up. <laughs> And that's so dumb. Why would they do that? I don't know. And I, I, I've gotten to the point where I started insulting them in the chat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've also forgot that uh, gamers are kind of the worst subculture on the planet. They're, they're toxic as shit in there. I've seen a lot of Let's Go Brandons. It's, it's, uh, people really mm. saying retard a lot. And people just being homophobic. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. It's pretty wild. Uh, but there, yeah, if you're... It, if your if your character has too many explosives available to them, or you can cloak, you fuck fuck you, dude. You don't have to play the game to win. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, my yeah, that seems Arceus really weird. Nice. Arceus and Elden Ring. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind getting frustrated by a Dark Souls game right now. That sounds rewarding. Might just go play Mega Man then. <laughs> Man, I wish I felt good about being like super challenged by shit, but I'm. You know, I'm just kind of like, I'm going to do this three times, and if I can't do it in three times, I'm fucking done. And I'll see if I come back to this game or not. Because <laughs> it's not even a thing where it's like, I'm so frustrated, it's like, I'm bored now. I'm bored. No. I don't get bored. I'll get frustrated at the PvP games. I'll take it. I'll take, I take losing in Smash Brothers kind of personal for some reason, and I'll spike my controller. Uh, and Smash Bros. Gotten, is one of the only games where I'm just okay with losing. I'm okay with losing like when I'm, I'm playing with friends. Fun. Like, I don't even pay attention when I'm playing online with Keegan and Timid. I don't even pay attention, and then I'll look at the scores, and I'll be like, I've lost ten games in a row. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> yeah, we were still having fun. They were still good scraps. I don't know. I don't care. Keegan, yeah. it's not like I'm going to surprise Keegan with how I play. We've been playing, keep playing Smash Brothers for years, so. Yeah. Yeah. Arceus sounds like, I'm not, probably not going to get Elder. It's 60 bucks for a game. I'm not sure I'm, I want that bad. I'm gonna get Pokemon though, because I need I need a game that's on uh, another game that's on Switch for when I'm procrastinating. I can leave the computer on and have it go to the TV. Uh, and if I get Elden Ring, I'm gonna get it on PC so I can crack out the graphics. Then I'll have to be using yeah, my PC. Yeah, definitely. We should become friends on Switch. Why haven't we done that yet? I don't know. I mean, oh. is there a benefit? I mean, potentially, we could play games together, maybe. I'm fire crotch on there. I don't... Do we play play games... I mean, if we, have, if we were playing games at the same time... Yeah. Of course, if I get this new job, I'll be 8.30 to 4.30, so... Oh! <laughs> whoa! That's like me, kind of, except I'm 7.30 to 4.30, but yeah! Yeah, when I don't have anything to do at night and I'm sober for a stretch, that's not a problem at all. That's... I don't... I, don't, I haven't been minding that too much lately, going to bed at... 10 or 11 and then waking up at like 6 or 7 nice that ain't bad it's when I have to edit something or if I'm playing too many video games and I flip my schedule like I was up at 8am this morning still I was still Whoa. awake at 8am and that's that's crazy because I've been waking up at uh, that's been uh, like I've been waking up at that time for the last few weeks so to have that have that flip was kind of big but I had to yeah. get a coloring page done, and I wanted to shoot people in the face. 
<laughs> I got a bit bored this morning. Well, but yeah, if we become friends on Switch and you get Legends Arceus, we could trade. Oh my God! Hey, you know where we're friends and we never trade Pokemon right now? Pokemon Go? Yeah. That's because you're too far away. There's still a, a, oh, a right. distance limit, unfortunately. Dang. Or I would trade you. <laughs> yeah, because I've got that. I've got. I've got a quest. <laughs> 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 why? Why can't Pokemon give some people some passes on that when they let you? When they see that you've been had this quest for over a year, they should feel right. bad for you. It sucks. Yeah, what? I'm sitting here. I got with the one where it's like get five great throws in a row, and it's like I can only get four every time. And then that fifth one, it's like okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. Fuck! I fucked up, and it's just been there forever. Yeah, I've, I've I get most of those. Nana berries help a lot for that. And I'll wait. Yeah. Oh, I'll, 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 well, I'll I'll throw that away if it's just a regular research thing because that is too fucking hard for a regular research task. Nah, it's for the Zerud thing unfortunately big fucking quest I'll and then there's around. the fucking take a snapshot of landorus which i hadn't seen that fool in years <laughs> i'll go take a walk and try to find fat ass pokemon i'll go try to find a taurus or something and then i'll i'll use nana berries that makes sense yeah because five in a row is too hard especially if you don't yeah. have berries and one of those things decides to swat your ball yeah. I don't have too many problems with them swatting the balls. It's just like, I, I just get in my fucking head about it and fuck it up. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. It's so annoying because, like, I'll just get four in a row with no problem, and then that fifth one, I just can't fucking get it. Never. It just yeah. doesn't happen. That's a weird I've place to four have in a row so anxiety. many times. <laughs> yeah, it's so annoying. It doesn't fucking matter at all. It's just I want it off my fucking screen. I want to know what's next. It is legit hard for some reason. It shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the po. If it's a small Pokemon, I get it. Or like uh, rat rat attacks that stand too close to the camera. You're never getting that. Yeah. But there's a lot of fucking circular Pokemon that's just perfect. Goddamn Voltorb, boom. I won't even engage with a Zubat if I have that challenge on. Oh no. I won't engage with a Zubat anyways. I have so many fucking Zubat candy at this point. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. The flyers the flyers will piss you off with doing that challenge. Because sometimes they'll just yeah. fly to the right side of the screen before I get a berry out. And then that, they get the berry and then they're stuck on the right side of the screen. And I can't throw a curveball that direction to save my life. So I just got to bail. <laughs> yeah. I hate that shit. Yeah, I'm going to write a letter to those people and let them know that I have grievances and they have to reprogram the game. Yeah, fix the game, you dickheads. <laughs> and do something with Pikmin. Make it more fun, goddammit. Yeah, I'm definitely... Like, seriously. I was just about to say, I have as much money as I've spent in Pokemon Go, you should make me some adjustments, adjustments for me. Uh, but I've, I will never spend a dollar in Pikmin, and they, they screwed me out of coins on one of my walks recently, I'm convinced. And I don't see uh -huh. a reason to... I don't see where to spend the coin. I, like, I know where the shop is in Pikmin, but just... There's nothing to buy. There's nothing to grind for. I don't yeah, did to do I'm just, to I'm just like add the fucking enemies from the Pikmin games. These I'm, mushrooms are dumb. What is it for? I'm trying to raise my my scores against the mushrooms because uh, getting to level 29, I think you had to get through uh, five two star victories on a on a challenge. Uh, and I, found and I just don't fucking get it at all. Yeah, I don't understand that shit at all. Well, if you t if you make an auto team, it'll just send whoever out there, but. You do the, the the internet that doesn't have many articles on it because nobody's really playing this game that much, but it does seem mm -hmm. it does seem as though matching the color of the Pikmin to the color of the mushroom gives you a better result, and I was able to get all my five stars by sending my huh. matching color Pikmin with the highest friendship level. Interesting. I was sending the ones with the highest friendship level for a while, but I just ugh, it just seems dumb. It doesn't. There's, it's just, there's just not enough. There's not enough to that game. Well, I take my walk and I plant flowers, and that feels like something to do. So I'll keep playing it. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it if I've ever I'm actually just going for a walk versus being on a treadmill. But treadmills, oof. treadmills suck. 
Mm, no, mm, I like the treadmill. It's not a I can real walk. Stand there and walk on as fast as I need to. If I'm fucking like just outside, I'm just it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. If I'm on a treadmill, I can put the speed up and actually get <laughs> a fucking workout. Just walk faster outside, and you, it but I'm not gonna. Muscles. I'll eventually just stop doing it. <laughs> That's I, the problem. I, well, there's real heels here, and I'm always trying to keep my miles at 15 minutes. So I'm, I'm, I am, I am picking up my feet and doing it. And yeah, the hills are kind of a bitch, but yeah, it's yeah, all. And I like being able to watch YouTube videos and shit while I'm doing it. That's true. Well, it's the only time that I can really catch Pokemon because Pokemon don't come into my yard. And I go do the stop. I, did, I don't know. I have a little thing. Like, Pikmin and Pokemon are little things to do on the walk and get out. Yeah. I don't have a treadmill. Treadmills are expensive and annoying. Yep. That they are. And but have... they are at the gym, and I go there all the time. So that's... that's true. Well, okay. You're not firing yeah. all your leg muscles, though. You can cheat treadmills too easy. It's not a real, it's not a real run. Whatever. You're getting cardio. Yeah. Doing it. I also just do the fucking row machine as well. Which is, uh... Really gets the heart pumping. Probably not super great for, uh, uh, my, my back muscles, though, because of, uh... You know, I work them out very hard, and then I do that shit for too long. So, <laughs> probably just fucking up the hypertrophy there. And then that's why I'll have a shitty back forever. I don't work out my muscles too much. I work out my hand and forearm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are those are pretty beefy. Hell yeah. I've got. My I'm working on building mass everywhere. For now. Yeah, there's no point in me working up my legs. They're, you know, they take me up and down hills at 300 pounds, so they, they're as strong as they're gonna get. I mean that's that's pretty strong. Yeah, I could do but my knee my is all shitty, unfortunately, so I can't really do legs that that well anymore. Pisses me off. I could I gotta get rid of my titties. I could use more bicep meat. I definitely need more butt. More butt. More yeah. butt. I yeah, I should get some butt. Me too. But that way I don't have to wear a belt. <laughs> Got them apple bottom jeans. Yep. Uh, I think that's all I got. Hell yeah.